sewed in half. No way. That's okay. And With flex tape, you can put it back together. Please sponsor us flex tape. For real though, actually. <laughs> I will Please. I will clean I will put so many videos of me using flex tape to fix stuff in my house. Will you fix a boat? That's the important question. I will buy a boat, saw it in half, specifically to fix it with flex tape. Good. That sounds, if, that sounds what like if, a heist movie. What if the D&D &D <laughs> item solvent glue is just like flex tape? Just, it's just liquid flex tape. Flex, it's it's the, fl liquid flex tape that just traveled through time. Bro, it's not good enough to be around. flex tape. It's not bruh, good enough. Bruh, listen, if we I can't want fucking get if we can't get books readily, what the fuck glue is gonna be? <laughs> I I no, just actually, want a D20. I just what? want a D20 that is made out of 100 percent flex seal. That's all <laughs> oh, I need. Gonna... Dude, okay. That would be awesome. Someone might do that in real life now. I hope I hope <laughs> someone has the garage and the safety equipment that, to that's make like, a flex tape. That it that's won't like fucking bounce, floor. it will just land. Yeah, that's like Florida man levels of fucking DIY Wait, shit. Are you implying that it is it is a D20 with the sticky side on the outside? No, it is entirely made of flex seal. No, I know, but like you can do that and why, I, why would I, you say it would just stick? It could bounce. Bro, that just, that's a fucking that's a nerf dice. That you could throw that so, at someone and get the so result. It's so dense and solid that it completely just just lands without rolling at all. Why has Anybody made like a bouncy ball style D20 for funny? I have it. My wife got me have. one. Oh, that's great. Because they're extremely easy to lose. Oh, that you idea. go to roll it once and it just shoots to the moon. I don't know. I, I, I know where mine's been for the past three years. Hi, everybody. How are you doing in chat? I think they're I think they're simultaneously mad at me for saying flex tape and excited about nerf dice which is funny because i was the one who initiated the fucking joke <laughs> yeah i'm I, people are like it's flex seal I'm like, okay billy uh, mays here wait oh billy mays i actually miss that guy yeah remember when people used to say when you speak in all caps it's just entering maze mode <laughs> <laughs> i've never heard of that i've actually. never heard this this is oh news my to god me. Thing. My friends and Ma I used to say, if you, if you accidentally typed in all caps, it was accidentally going maze mode. Ma Monty's got an obscure meme that none of us have. This is amazing. Oh, sh oh shit. Rare Canadian meme. Listen, I was in high school when like the, the infomercial madness was at like Slap Chop, the Billy Maze, the Sham Wow. I remember I bought my friend a Sham Wow, or I didn't buy it, but my, we bought our friend a Sham Wow, and they were so excited that they ripped it open in one fell swing and immediately hit a friend in the face with it. They literally <laughs> like ripped it out of the packaging like by flipping their arm around and then immediately slapped over someone's drink in the same like motion and then slammed that sucker on the table. It happened so fast we couldn't register what happened. Oh, I mean, the good news uh... is by knocking over a beverage, with a sham wow, you have the means with which to clean up the spill. Exactly, that's why they did it. And I just remember it being like, I think the person was drinking that one. I was gonna drink this. <laughs> My Checks in the great. mail. Anyway, we should. Speaking of, uh, I don't know where the segue is. Speaking of oh, you can't find it. <laughs> don't worry. With just two easy steps, I can get you that transition you need. That was really good. That was really good, yeah. No, no, it was, that wasn't trying. Too bad. Honor. It's good. Speaking of segues, Gaijin Goomba, where can they find Yumba, and uh, what are you up to? But uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you find me twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba, no H, and on YouTube. Uh, new YouTube videos going up. It's like 37 minutes long. It's very good, very from the heart. It's dealing with loneliness uh, being in Japan because maybe one day the portals will open up sufficiently and 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 it'll be time to go check it out um doing a lot of build streams i just want to say thank you to my community for basically funding those that's been very very cool um more taiko streams will be happening as well uh this weekend though i'm not sure i i've blasted through sunbreak and uh no spoilers don't worry um but it's been a lot of fun uh, there's still lots of, uh, for me to do in the end game, and uh, I don't know, might stream that. Just having a good time. That, that's me. Sorry, I was out checking on Shimon. Continue, please. Now it's awkward. He was 
He was asleep, but he is farting up a storm out there, and I, Excellent. it's just it's so a wasteland that I it's a wasteland that I dare not tread into once again. <laughs> Roll con, Connor. And speaking of gaseous emissions, Mark Allen Jr. Wow. Where can they find you? Wow. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter.com at Mark Allen Jr. Here on Twitch at Aeon Protect Gaming. And you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny, who's currently sleeping under my desk at my feet as we speak okay, on Instagram at chonk for life I said last week tentatively that there would be streams this week. Um, <sighs> that is less likely than it was last week. I've been having a lot of trouble getting everything set up at the new place, but I'm working on it. So I, I appreciate you guys bearing with me. I do apologize. I know it's been quite a while since I've had a stream. Um, I'm hoping to get back up and running again here soon. Uh, so thank you for your continued patience. We're going to make it happen. It's going to happen. We'll be back. Just I need a little bit more time. In the meantime, please check out some English dubbed anime if you're into that kind of thing. You can hear me in Fruit of Evolution. You can hear me uh, doing some directorial work with uh, Shikimori's Not Just a Cutie and Aharen Sanwa Hakaranai, which just wrapped last week. I wrapped my first show directing as an assistant director and I'm full of all kinds of emotions. Nice. Hell yeah. We'll talk about that later. Other than that, um, not much going on this week. Uh, it is just about to be hurricane season, though. Uh, believe it or not, because we're already in July. Busy boy. Uh, so if you're interested in weather stuff, I am going to start uh, doing some tweets and stuff about uh, hurricane, hurricane stuff. Just preparedness, what kinds of things to expect this season, what to look for, that kind of thing. Uh, so follow me on Twitter if you're interested in that kind of thing, and uh, we'll get weathery, nerdy stuff going. That's it for me. Right on. Zito, where can they find you, and what are you up to? You know where to find me on twitch.tv slash Zito, where I'm playing indie games, drawing stuff, doing commissions. Uh, Shoutouts to the one guy who actually dropped, and I shit you not, a grand as a birthday gift on my Patreon. Shit. Wow. Fuck. Like, fucking shout-outs to you. I'm actually going to have a fun time going on vacation uh, soon this upcoming week, so thank you for that. That was kind of fucking out of nowhere. You're crazy, and thank you. God bless you. Oh, yeah. uh, oh uh, so I don't know if anyone here gives a shit, but uh, you like kobolds? You like what are kobolds? kobolds? Yeah, you might, you might. If the answer is yes, and you like the kobolds of the uh, weird little, like, stupid rabbit ear variety that I oh, yeah. may have drawn once or twice. Uh, stick around my Twitter, uh, at CZ Backlash for uh, news about that this Friday. You might be surprised. Huh. A very surprising. Ever uh, Bosco? A physical surprise. Oh, 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 oh. Well, well, well. What do you have to say about that? Bosco. You can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter and right here on twitch.tv slash Ed Bosco. Time. Oh, wow. He Slight. did the Connor clip where he talks over Connor to save yeah. time. It's a new <laughs> strap they found out about. I'm surprised That's... it's legal. We might see them outlaw that next year. They That's might the not allow that in the category. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think, yeah, it, I think be... it gives people with uh, better rigs uh, too much of an advantage. They have to kind yeah. of make a general. Yeah. Might still allow it in any presenters, though. I'm not sure. Yeah, on leaderboard, any percent is fine. Glitchless percent. <laughs> or anyway. was I? Right, Monty, where can we find you and what are you up to? Hi, I also am uh, currently going through what could be described as many things all at once all the time. Everything happens so much. Um, currently, I have a new computer, which I have been just kind of adjusting to. It's amazing. It's really nice, and I really like it. Thank you so much, Artsy Heartsy, for coming over to my house and literally spending almost probably seven hours setting it up for me, because I should not be allowed near a keyboard or, like, a piece of hardware ever. Um, so for that sake, I've been kind of, like, trying to get myself back in order. Unfortunately, it's going to affect streams. On top of that, I also have a vacation coming up, so... Until the 20th, I'm probably going to be gone. So there's probably not going to be a streams for the next 13 days. I'm very, very sorry about that. But it's just I got to clean my house. I got to do a bunch of other things. 
Uh, and I'm just going to be straight up gone. So uh, sorry about that. But you guys can check me out at Twitter, uh, at Monty Glue on Twitter, where I post all kinds of things. Um, and I'll be definitely probably posting things about my vacation there. So definitely keep uh, keep an eye out there. That's it for me. Hey, Connor, real quick. I'm sorry. Just one more thing I actually forgot to mention. Uh -huh. uh, for those who like my homebrew content uh, and those who don't want to join Patreon, I have something for DMs Guild coming up soon, and it's Spelljammer related. So that'll be happening soon. At least hopefully before <laughs> August. <laughs> Excellent. All right, and they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Double, where I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, most of the time, not all of the time, but a lot of the time. Uh, they can also check out my DMs Guild, where I release 5th edition content, including the uh, Treasure Hunter Conclave for the Ranger, which is in production right now. Got a lot of fun spelunking abilities and, and using your... Uh, Using your, um, what is it? It's not primeval awareness, is it? It's primeval awareness. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, using that to detect your uh, traps and, and treasure in, in, in an area. It'd be pretty, pretty funky, pretty cool. Football be on the holes. lookout for that. Hmm? I was about to say, what about holes? That's very important. Can you find holes? Can I find holes? Uh, yes. Only if you dig. <laughs> dig, dig That's making holes, Mark. <laughs> only, only Shia LaBeouf can find the holes. Oh shit! All right. I was gonna say a dwarf of this of this treasure hunting class would be very very strong. Well, the dwarf diggy diggy's the hole. <laughs> dig mm. dig diggity dig. Yeah. Wait, who's on first? No, not this shit again. Uh, Go, Connor. <laughs> keep going. Uh, yeah, that's 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 it for me. Uh, we gotta thank our lovely sponsor for this evening's escapades, Die Hard Dice. Bye, Sherman. Die Hard Dice. Bye, Sherman. That's right. Die Hard Sherman. Dice is your one stop Sherman shop came in for, for Die Hard Dice. Sherman was like, yeah. did, you hear, did you say Dar, Die Hard Dice? Did you say Die Hard Dice? Did you say Die Hard Dice? <laughs> oh, okay. And then he walked away. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Sherman. If you if you go to dieharddice.com, you can save 10% on your order if you use the code unexpectable exclamation point. You think about that? Yeah? That's You're right. Really Even dogs love our Die Hard Dice. Austin, can you, can you insert Sherman saying go to dieharddice.com? <laughs> Raul <laughs> Thanks, Austin. He just shook his head and walked away. <laughs> Sherman or Austin? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe what? both. I'm not yeah, sure. Probably both. Yeah. Uh, but you know who who didn't shake their head and walk away? All of these wonderful viewers who have donated bits and subs, uh, oh. including but not limited to uh, Miss Tweedums. Thank you for getting a tier one sub to Monty Glue. Hey, that's me. Pause and quiet. Thank you for getting a tier one sub to Misa Yato. Emerald Bandit, thank you for the 22 months first live session I've ever been able to, uh, I've been able to watch in a while. Looking forward to this all week. Right on. Mild Sater, thank you for gifting 10 subs to the community. Heretical Cryptid, thank you for the 27 months. Mikan Pachi, thank you for the three months. Excited for my favorite D&D show. Here's hoping Iskan uh, doesn't continue to be traumatized by more pies. Olin <laughs> Dawes. Thank you for the 21 months of Prime subage. I did it. I hit the funny number. Let's go. Shine Greymon, thank you for the 26 months. I love the new characters that everyone's made. 20 BMG, thank you for the 20 months. Zan Wind, thank you for the 25 months. Good luck, everyone. Wells234, thank you for the 100 bits. I wish I hadn't caught COVID, but at least I can hang out with you guys. Logan Moggin, thank you for the 17 months. Holy crap, I haven't been here in a while. Great to catch you guys live again. Tactical Hagrid, thank you for the 19 months. <laughs> Hot damn, 19 months closing in on the magical 20 win. Also, hope everyone's had a great week. Yeah. Tactical Hagrid like just it. makes an image in my head and I can't leave and it's great. Harry, get down! <laughs> throw, in, throw in the flashbang, Harry! <laughs> Keep going, or stuck, Harry! 
Uh, like in 506, think of the 500 bits. Oh boy, a new episode of Bizarre Foods with East Gun. <laughs> Drago soon, thank you for the 21 months. Yeah, 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 yeah. 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21 months. Uh, Shadow Flare, thank you for the 27 months. <laughs> ben Franklin with his shirt off, thank you for the five gifted subs to <laughs> the Fucking cut. Jesus. Holy shit. <laughs> I'll show you electricity. The Franklin stove is actually just a giant six pack of iron. <laughs> Reasonable Rex, thank you for the 10 bits. Uh, chat, look out. There's an awesome DD &D stream coming right at us. <laughs> and we're not slowing down. Guess what? We're heat seeking. <laughs> Catch Mixed this overhead, delicious. idiot. Nix the Lich, thank you for the 200 bits. Hey, first time uh, live, and I'm that one artist that has been making daily fan art. I got to catch up today uh, while I listen. Wish me luck. Also, don't forget to roll high. So wait, were you the one who did the uh, Gaius burrito picture? Because that was fucking amazing, if that's true. <laughs> burrito Gaius. This is my constant state of being. Or as we call it, a gyro. Uh, Blackfoot Fair, thank you for the elite bits. <laughs> the Holy Carp, thank you for the 11 months. Uh, Print Equation, thank you for the 24 months. Yeah, 24 months, let's go. Zenlita, thank you for the 100 bits. Still recovering from the end of Endwalker. Let's touch this grass. Mad Wombat Man, thank you for the 23 months. Almost two years of laughs and joy. Honestly, can't tell you how much I've loved and treasured this channel and all of your work. Keep it up. And I'll, may the rolls be ever in your favor. Uh, King Cat Goblin, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Otter with a Machete. Look out! Hmm. Look out! <laughs> Benny Boy 96 thank you for the 16 months. Heck yeah, kobolds are awesome. Morthrandor, thank you for the 35 bits. Dropping my last bits for a time. Who'd have thought economy is a thing? Oh, darn that economy. Drago Suit, thank you for the 100 bits. The economy crashes. <laughs> Good. I thought the only one who saw that. <laughs> Happy early birthday, Zito, says Drago soon with 100 bits. Thank Just you. I'm old. Shut up. 20 months. One more month until the funny 21 number. I made it to St. Louis with my girlfriend and I finally dragged her to her first unexpected stream. She says hi. Hi. Hello. Hope we're entertaining. Oh, you're finally awake. <laughs> I assume she's the spoon -dum. Keep going, Connor. Ben Franklin with his shirt off. Thank you for the 14 months. Uh, Hark, I have been around since the origination. Thou hath brought much joy to thine long hours of work and sleepless nights. Roll well, friends. Roll well. Bro, you need Thanks, a fucking man. Brad Neely song. <laughs> You need a Brad Neely song like Stat. Dice Ruler, thank you for the 200 bits. Time to watch my favorite D&D &D group uh, and see what Cruelty Roll20 will do on Connor's stealth. <laughs> the, the Seven, thank you for the seven months. Wow. McLovin004, thank you for the 11 months. Uh, Magellan Zio, thank you for the seven months. ATLA Gamer, thank you for the 100 bits. JM007890, thank you for the 25 months. Do you believe in life after love? Uh, I can feel something, I can feel inside. something inside me say, go oh, fucking jinx, you owe me a <laughs> Wow, that song is different than I remember. <laughs> uh, I really don't think you're strong enough, no. Uh, Robert's nephew, thank you for the 200 bits. As a teacher, the best part of school holidays is spending your holidays uh, marking and making resources, but at least I get to listen to you guys live for the first time in forever. Yeah. Yay. King Kiwi, thank you for the 15 months. Uh, my first episode after returning from my vacation in Alaska, our cruise ship Ooh. hit an iceberg. Oh, oh nice. Please. Uh, well, hopefully not terrible. I feel like they would be equipped for that, wouldn't they? Hey, hey but you survived. <laughs> after the last time, I think they would have to have had... That was like in fucking... Oh, never mind. 
They made a huge deal about the last one, so they probably... <laughs> <laughs> you on the side of the iceberg? What the hell, Connor? Wow. <laughs> wow. Man. <laughs> Gribbleist Prime, thank you for the 25 months of Prime subage, all cut up. Anonymous, thank you for getting a tier one sub to Nix the Lich. Mini Ender, thank you for gifting eight. Uh, or thank you for the eighteen months. Been watching, rewatching campaign one, and I have to ask, uh, Monty, why do you hate Willow? By episode eighty, you've made thirteen attempts on her life. <laughs> Listen, I don't do anything. That girl's cursed. Holy Except hot! You damn. don't write the fact that she's cursed. <laughs> Uh, Tex Texel, thank you for the 19 months. 19 months. Holy ho, Kath Orbs, Batman. <laughs> I am Spite. Thank you for the four months of Prime. <laughs> and James Rochal, thank you for getting a good tier one sub to Grey Stripe Gaming. Is that everything? Yes. That's everything. Okay. <clears throat> Check on Sherman. Make sure he didn't poop on it. Probably really important to do that. While you're doing that, Connor, is it okay if I run the uh, intro? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bye, chat. In a bit, chat. So, when last we left our adventurers, Iskan Seat Lolly, Gaius Agni, Milo Brightbeam, Kai, and Otho, the party was successful in converting a pearl of, of Necrecta over to a bead of Hoketh. Now set on the path for the second bead, the party is pointed southward to the coastal city and country of Martorallo. After parting with Lynn and learning more of her nature, encountering a hanging zombie from a tree and a pie of dubious origins, the party has made their way to the border between Eastonvale and Matarallo, where they were met with a massive white stone garrison. And as the portcullis draws itself higher, coming out comes a man. And I will share the artwork with you guys again. Yay. It's quite good. I'm not biased or anything, but he has a great name. <sighs> there you are. What a lad. So as you, as the five of you stand there, kind of in the shadow of this large garrison, uh, this man kind of walks out, notably no weapons on him. Uh, and as he approaches, he kind of waves you guys over, and it goes, So, uh, again, confirming. Not smugglers. I no. mean, we don't really have anything to smuggle. Everybody roll a group charisma check. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we did this already! Oh, no. He blew our cover! 
Oh, you did, actually. You already did. So let me apply that then. Apologies. Hey. I forgot you guys did that. I want that 20. <laughs> he kind of nods and goes, fair enough. Uh, and who are you all? You a, a party? Are you a mercenary party? Are you part of some sort of establishment? I, I'd say that we're uh, just a group of adventurers. Going yeah. through Eastonvale. Yeah. <laughs> bounty hunting? He kind of like closes one eye and leans his head back. Kind of like bounty hunting at all? No, no, no bounty hunting. No, oh, but we did do an investigation. Oh, okay. He kind of turns up and he goes, I think they're good. We'll still look them over, though. He watches the armored individual kind of looking through the aerosol kind of gives a wave. And then he kind of just goes, all right, follow me. We're going to check your goods. <laughs> sorry, I'm 12. Uh, we'll... Mark! <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> he's going to sort of look, look around at everybody and sort of like motion like who wants to lead milo's already walking there was talk yeah. of the uh, orange cleric in there <laughs> guys is going forward he doesn't give a shit as you guys approach you see immediately kind of meeting uh this man marco uh two other individuals sorry one second uh does marco appear human yes he appears to be human his hair is short enough that you can tell the ears aren't any different. Uh, when last we were here, Monty, there was talk about this garrison being all clerics. Does he have any holy emblems on his person? He doesn't seem to have anything akin to what you use. Um, mm. But you know that holy symbols can take many forms. Right. Um, but he doesn't look like a cleric. He He's mm. not wearing the heavy armor you're used to. He's not holding a mace. He is kind of just himself and just his clothes, but mm, who knows? Well, I don't like to stereotype, but you know. <laughs> uh, as you guys approach, you see immediately um, a gnome kind of turn around the corner, uh, as well as a uh, minotaur, actually, as well, turns the corner. Uh, the minotaur has, like, Definitely looks way more cleric-y. Um, they have sort of a long green tabard that kind of runs all the way almost to the ground. A very long mane tangled with like flowers and leaves. And their horns come out and are just covered in like moss and lichen that kind of trail down. Uh, the gnome is a little more unassuming. Um, they have, they look more like a wizard. Um, they have like a very, very nice kind of sort of sea blue kind of robe to them, wide brimmed, almost pointy hat. Uh, and you notice just out of their pockets is just tons of papers and like you can see like uh, feathers and all sorts of manner of other things. And they immediately kind of place themselves on either side of the garrison as, as Marco kind of gestures you through. So uh, Marco kind of taps his hands and goes, anything to declare? I'm Gaius. <laughs> nice to meet you, Gaius. He smiles. <laughs> that kind of gives a nod. I take it this is your first time through Fort Divinity. I don't remember you, so I'm going to assume. He kind of nods towards I've you all. I've never been like... this way my entire life. Okay, good to know. Um, are you carrying any magical items on you? He like, uh... looks down at himself. He's like, uh, no. <laughs> He's gone kind of indicates the staff that he has don't believe i have anything the staff is magical isn't it he's asking you i'm asking you because <laughs> you don't know sure, if you don't I'm know then sure you don't know. know nope you don't know so if you don't know i have nothing for you i'm sorry uh, i i think so oh, okay um place it just right over there on this table here. And you know, it's just like a little wooden table, um, notably right next to where you could easily see like a carriage come through. Um, but the carriage road is definitely not used. It is slightly overgrown, not as bad as Easton Vale for sure, but it doesn't look very frequently used. Uh, and he takes over and puts the staff down. The kind of points towards the gnome and goes, 
Um, uh, Kaltor, you mind? And he watches the gnome kind of goes, oh, I do not mind. And he goes over and kind of begins to pick up and looks at the staff. And you watch as he kind of moves his fingers and his eyes flash for a moment. He goes, oh, it's perfectly harmless. It's just an arcane focus and pushes it towards uh, Marco. And Marco goes, oh, it's fine. He hands it off to you. I take it back and immediately cast lightning on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> what? They all scream and die. No, they're all good. Yay, mm. campaign over. <laughs> Anybody else? No, I don't I believe I have anything. And then just a simple look over. Just lift your arms up into a pose like this. He kind of T-poses. No, he's asserted dominance. God damn it. <laughs> I was going to make that choke. <laughs> Guys, like, fucking... Gaius flexes, but like his body is like fucking like hunched over, so it's like the laziest flex ever. Are any of you attempting to conceal any of your items that you have on your person? Uh, Chris looks down at himself. No. I don't think there's anything that we have worth concealing. I'm just asking to give you the yeah. option if there's something. That's a no for form. me, dog. Yeah, big, okay. big no. Nope. nope. Don't believe so. Okay. Uh,. Otho and Gaius, the Minotaur checks you over. She's very gentle. She's for how big she is, like she's huge. She's like very careful, kind of checks your pockets, uh, kind of pulls out your daggers and just looks at them and she kind of turns and goes, Do you use poisons? No. Not no. you as talking to the toll. Yes, you no poisons? No. Okay, good to know. She puts it and kind of puts her weapons back. Kind of gives you a very quick pat down, you know, looks at a couple of your items, just kind of like, what is this? And you kind of clarify, and she hands them back. Uh, Milo, the gnome, checks you because tight. Yeah. Um, <laughs> kind of looks at your holy symbol and kind of nods and then kind of assesses everything else and goes, okay, you're good. Uh, Kai, Roth, uh, Marco kind of goes up to you and kind of checks you over, and he kind of stops on the books. And he goes, uh, can you take the books on the table, please? Uh, Kyle put them on the table. Okay. And he kind of continues the check and doesn't really find anything else. Uh, and Iskan, you were also checked by uh, Marco as well. And he kind of checks you over and he goes, how much paper do you have? Is he just like parts putting the parchment on the table and kind of is just like... It's just like the never-ending roll of paper. Uh, it's like the gag with like the knives where it's like, drop all your weapons, and then you just grab another map from like your sock and put it on the table. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry. I, yeah, cartographer makes sense. I hope you're not planning on trying to map out all of Eason Vale. <laughs> kind of shift the eyes. Uh, I mean... Yes. Marco kind of goes over. Well, good luck. The only people who are bold enough to go in that damn place are bounty hunters and the things they're chasing. Uh, Mr. Ross, I, I had a bit of a question. Absolutely, go for it. Uh, you had said that this whole garrison was just clerics? Yep. We were all hired by Oslomir Harlan, an extension of his... About, I don't know the details. I, I'm not from Martorallo. I, I actually came from uh, Tricadia, personally. Um, there was a job offer for clerics, specifically. They wanted one of, sort of, each god if they could possibly get it. Apparently, something happened in Easton Vale. We, we don't know what, but it has caused a lot of undead to come about, and they, they love to wander aimlessly onto the main roads, and that... Between that and the goblins and the ogres, it was just another problem that Oslomir didn't want to have to deal with. So we've been stationed here, more or less, just to mostly keep the undead in check and uh, kind of gestures towards all of you and the stuff on the table and do the occasional check for smuggled goods. That's understandable, but um, is there a cleric of Orin here? There is, yeah, uh, Silurin. They're currently, I think, on patrol at the moment. They should be back this afternoon, though. Milo just looks to the rest of you with, like, these big eyes. Can we wait till the evening? Uh, I don't see why not. 
Milo just runs over, just gives you a hug, waist high. Oh, thank you. I need this so much. Yeah, no problem. You watch as uh, Marco kind of picks up the spell book, Kai, and kind of flips through it, and he kind of goes, it's a nice spell book. Uh, Kai's just going to smile at him. Nervously. Rudimentary <laughs> spells. Hmm. Where'd you get this from? It's well made. Oh, uh, I got it from a friend. <laughs> I just turns to you. <laughs> Milo turns to you. Kai can't look either one of them in the eye right now. <laughs> <laughs> roll, a, roll a deception check for me for the accent. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Please. You, Please. Why did you have to go why hard mode? This? No. Here we go. Oh, come no. on. Oh, oh. A flippity do potato. <laughs> <laughs> That's a six right. from the podcast. <sighs> well, hopefully your friend told you, and he hands you the spell book back, that your spells are perfectly harmless and they're fine. He hands it back to you. He'll uh, bow his head and put the books away. You know, I say your friend's Nerasmin. You're going to need to be friends with in order to uh, cast some of those spells. All right, well, you're all clear. Well, I'm curious, what business do you have in Martorallo, if you don't mind me asking? Well, oh. and kind of look back and forth between uh, Milo and Gaius. Oh, uh, Gaius we're was... kind of oh, looking for work. Work? Yeah. I, yep, I seek trials. Trials to at least spread my name across the land as he holds up his book like, e. <laughs> What kind of work are you looking for? Investigatory work? You mentioned you did some investigating. We did that. Um, I remember we helped clear off some of those cursed wolves back in, um... Oh, my brain. Guys, Hearthland. 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 Oh, thank, thank you. Uh, back in Hearthland, uh, just you know, this tap, and that. Is, is, is there something like non, like non consequential that I could that Gaius could break like nearby? There are actually some like training dummies, like these these sacks that are filled with something you're not sure that have like buckets on top of them, and they clearly have been used for training. Excellent, Gaius. Like kind of just like meanders himself over to that. I do more of this, and I fucking wail on the bucket head. All right, roll to punch the bucket. No, my bucket. We 24. Make sure it's the right bucket. That hits. Okay. Fine. You punch the bucket and, like, dent it inwards. Uh, it is a metal bucket, so, like, it wrenches inwards Damn. and your your kind of your knuckles throb a little bit from the impact. And all three of the guards go, like, their eyes go, whoa, for a second. And Marco kind of nods and goes, well, that certainly is something people are looking for here in Matarallo. Um I found my place. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> um, I'm assuming you're heading southward. I mean, nowhere really else to go from here unless you intend to go back into Easton Vale or you want to get killed by goblins. That wasn't really on the plan, but yes, we're, we're heading back south. Okay, yeah. Um, and you haven't been in the area before, correct? Shakes head. No. Okay. Well, uh, south of here, about two days travel out is Apple Bottom Fields. That was in character. <laughs> <laughs> Maps are out. Niskan is already <laughs> starting to make notes. Why? <laughs> it's uh, it's not a town or even a hamlet. It's more of a conglomerate of farmers who are kind of boldly staking it out here. Um. Produce sells for a decent chunk in Martorallo, given that the ships need fa food to survive and, and whatnot. So, uh, what, what yeah. was the name again, Monty? Apple Bottom Fields. Uh, is that right next to the forest with the fur? God damn it. I wanted I to make that, that joke. I, yeah, I knew the moment I wrote down that name, I'm like, they're going to make the joke, and there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> It was it wasn't a matter of who would do it. It was a matter of when. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, we so, got it out of the way. 
the bad news is you're not going to really hit much of um, a village or a hamlet until you hit uh, Quincunx, which is going to be the biggest town you're probably going to find here, second to Matarallo, the Great Harbor Matarallo itself. Uh, that's actually where we were thinking of looking for work, so... Oh, well, there is three guilds there that bring on adventurers for potential work. Uh, there's the Goblin Killers Guild, the Order of the Roaming Swords, and the Guard Dogs. This is wide-eyed at all of these names. The Goblin Killers are... If you intend to travel anywhere, I wouldn't recommend them. They are mostly deal with goblins most of the time uh, per their name um though if you are interested in guarding caravans the order of the roaming swords they hire high target caravans usually heading either to or from martorallo <laughs> um and then there are the guard dogs they're personal bodyguards essentially you would be usually hired to protect an individual rather than goods uh, whether it be a delegate or someone of importance or someone like a courier, you know, carrying something maybe expensive or important. My recommendation for you, and I mean this with no offense, I question how you've been able to survive Eastern Vale as long as you have concerning the fact that it sounds like you came from Hearthland through there. That being said, he kind of just looks over all of you and goes, if I were you, and I'm not, but if I were you, I would probably be more keen on the roaming swords. Generally, it's better paying, um, and sometimes you work with others, sometimes you don't. It depends. Um, but you'll unfortunately be going at a slower pace, but you might be paid a fair bit, depending on what they're carrying and how rich the merchant is. That's fair enough. There's nothing about all three of these options I don't love. I've I do heard like the there, idea of being uh, able to work while we travel around. Though I've heard there are frequent bandit attacks. Yes, um, generally there are, mostly down the main trade road, uh, which is the southern road out of uh, Quincunx. But you can also hit some of them when you head more eastward as well. Mostly goblins. Occasionally, there have been some human bandits um, enlisted or otherwise to some of the ogre wives of Martorallo. It, um, it depends. Though, generally speaking, it's going to be the main trade road on the eastern side, but I've been hearing of attacks on the western side now. The little green bastards have been getting a bit more creative with their ambush methods. Anything we should look out for, then? Mm. The thing is, they never use the same trick twice, or at least they're not consistent. Mm. Um, ambushes, um, try to, I mean, I, I, here's the thing about Matarallo, especially if you're coming from Hearthland in particular, there's not a lot of trees here. So you are, despite your best efforts, going to stick out like a summer thumb. So just be aware of that fact. Um, yeah, just keep an eye out. Uh, unfortunately, the terrain here is to the goblin's advantage, but if you have your wits about you and you, you know, stay on alert and, well, don't be too paranoid, I guess would be my only warning. You, you want to be alert, but you don't want to be paranoid because they also can take advantage of paranoia as well. You got to kind of find that comfortable balance. So. That's fair enough. Mm -hmm. Anything else uh, you guys would like to know? I, I, we don't get people here very often, like, at all. And the gnome's like, no, not at all. Like, not at all. <laughs> um, above game money, who was that cleric that was out on patrol? Silverin? Uh, their name was, in my notes, uh, Silverin. Silverin, okay. Yeah. Got it. Um, honestly, like, while we're just hanging out, um, Milo would just be trying to chat up all the different clerics that he can and just learn what he can about the different pantheon. Or those yeah, within yeah. the pantheon. I mean, that's a roleplay opportunity for sure. I um, just... Is there anything anybody else would like to do, perhaps, as a, as a group, possibly? Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to take a lot of attention out for that. Uh, 
Otha would probably want to learn about the current state of affairs in the surrounding areas and in the city itself. I think uh, Eastgun's happy if he can find a map. Ice just wants to be useful around camp. <laughs> they take you to, they, they're like, all right, we're putting you the chopping wood. You're chopping wood, Boyle. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you want to ask Milo, you've got, there's four individuals here. There is, again, the gnome. Uh, there is the minotaur currently, as well as Marco himself. Uh, and though you don't see them, the, um, the, there's that, there was that person in the armor that was, like, up in, like, mm. the arrow slot. You haven't seen them since you've arrived. Um, tell you what, how about everybody else do their roleplay moments? Because if anything, Milo would want to talk to Sullivan super hardcore. Okay. Just double checking here. Yeah. They actually also sell things here, but nothing like general goods. Um, Marco kind of leans up against the wall and goes, also, if you happen to be in the area and by any chance something real bad happens, uh, we do sell spell castings of unique spells, but... Looks like you have a cleric with you, so you might not need that, but just in case, figured we'd offer that. What's half um, for? Well, for a casting of Cure Wounds, that'll be 10 gold pieces, and for a scroll, it'll be 25 gold pieces. Uh, he kind of points over. Kalta over there can cast Identify for 20 gold pieces, and if you want a scroll of it, it'll be 50 gold pieces. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Unfortunately, I, I don't think we could really afford any of that at the moment, but maybe if, when, when we're on our way back. Okay. We also have a Lesser Restoration and Dispel Magic, if those are also wants, but uh, also in scroll form, but more expensive, because paper and ink, you know how it goes. Yeah. Gods. I know. <laughs> it was like sacrificing for a god to get this book. It's a nice book. Yes. Don't get it wet. No. Oh, he sounded so sad. He, like hugs it to his chest. <laughs> Need to get that laminated. <laughs> Dear God, there's more. No. <laughs> no. This is a bucket. Dear God, there's more. No. Actually, uh, I have some materials that I've been carrying around for a while that I don't think I can really use. Uh, would you guys maybe be interested in some... Uh, feathers or talons from a hippogriff? Oh man, no! <laughs> Marco just starts laughing. I don't. I don't think we have much use for that one, unfortunately. Um, again, Queen Kunks might be the best option for trading there, if not Martorallo itself. You might be able to well, sell the feathers say... to a Fletcher, and uh, the talons. I'm sure some jeweler would want them. Oh. Actually, I have a question. Go for it. Uh, Gaius pulls out the bottle of undead ash. Oh, well, that's a good idea. There might be someone who would find this interesting. We found it while investigating uh, Eason Vale. Kind of trepidatiously, Marco kind of takes it from you and kind of like flicks it a couple times and looks at it. It has, like, even though it's sealed, it does have kind of, like, this swirling sort of element to it. Mm -hmm. He kind of looks at it, and he turns towards the Minotaur, and he goes, Nanu, what do you think? And the Minotaur kind of walks over and looks at it. And she turns, and she goes, It might be best if Lari looks at this. And there's kind of a general sort of discussion. It's just like, maybe, um... Actually, I think Fardexel might be better. And they kind of just chatter between each other. Yeah, I what think you I guys believe. might want to wait here until nighttime. We have a Hoketh cleric with us who might have a better sense for this. And there's also Sillarin, who you wish to talk to. So I'm going to make tea. Let's make some tea. He watches Mark kind of walks in. You can stay outside if you want to, or you can come on inside. Actually, if you have anything ingredients-wise, I could cook us up something. No, we just have rations here, but... We do have tea, so let's just do uh, let's just do tea. I think. Sadness. Oh boy, leaf water. It is the most fruity tea you've ever tasted in your life. Yes. It's really strong. Sounds amazing. Yeah, I it's like it's tea. it's 
it's more intended like you drink this milo and you think oh this is like a winter tea <laughs> this is not like mm. a early spring tea uh the inside though you see uh what appears to be like a bunch of like tapestries of uh, varying degrees of quality um there's like a sort of middle area you can see there's like there is sort of like a kitchenette area but it doesn't look very well used um it is a solid stone building um clearly vertical in design uh and as you all kind of uh, sit around and you know take your time for some pleasant talk uh i would say kai and milo i would like both of you to roll an insight check on marco as he talks and as he kind of goes about his day just to kind of figure him out 23 i'm trained at nice. nine nine okay kind I'll, of just, makes sense. I'll be back in my corner goodbye guys oh <laughs> <laughs> Milo, you, as you're kind of like trying to decipher what type of cleric they are, because again, you're very much a man of the cloth. Mm. Um, 100% the Minotaur is a nature cleric of some kind, um, right. just by her literal nature. The gnome and Marco throw you off for a while until you're able to discern that Marco is an arcane cleric. Um, mm -hmm. specifically, he seems really well versed in like the arcane arts and he, as he kind of talks about the, the dust and kind of theorizes about it, you know, he's just like, it's definitely a necromantic in nature, but it could also be passively hollowed grand that you possibly could have picked up, but it could also be from another plane of existence. There's a lot of ifs it could be. I mean, these sorts of wide range curses can occur for a multitude of reasons, breaches in material plane you know blah 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 blah. And he just kind of talks about it, and the way he talks about it he seems very experienced you're like this is our king cleric mm. do you think there might be any way that we could get another sample to possibly make a cure or some kind of defense against it i mean i wouldn't know honestly i i wouldn't have a single idea um i mean Believe us, we've thrown holy water at the place. We've done all manner of ceremonies, like, on the borders of Easton Vale to try and do anything. And it works for, like, a day. And then whatever is it that's there and is ever permanent just eats away at it, like, water washing away dirt. It's oppressive, whatever it is. It's, it's something kind of interesting that, um... The last time that we went through, it, it seems things got a little better. There was a, a, a very dense fog that just surrounded the whole area, and that's kind of gone. Huh. It's gotten better? A little bit. Marco, you can see, really goes into thought with that. And eventually, as the sun is at this point setting, you hear kind of a knock at the door. Marco kind of leans goes, ah, that would be your friend. Come on in, we have guests! He watches the door, opens up, and you see entering in what appears to be a black dragonborn wearing a sort of wide-brimmed, like, I'm, I'm gonna say it um, for the wrestler fans out there, like, Undertaker-style hat, like that wide-brimmed hat, <laughs> yeah. with, a, with a veil that runs all the way neck length, almost like a beekeeper's suit, but it's like the sort of black and silvery veil that runs down, but it just kind of curtains over the snout, so the, the, the face kind of sticks out, but the eyes and the face are covered. They're wearing very similar, but, like, different robes to what you've seen Lynn wear, sort of the kind of sea green kind of color with the long drapery. And of course, on their back is a shovel. Following them uh, comes in a gender neutral elf individual wearing not similar, but definitely much more fancy uh, white and yellow robes with kind of these shoulder pauldrons of this sort of beautiful elven design. Uh, they have what appears to be a mace at their side as well. And they kind of enter and their hair is very long in the front and kind of tied up in a tight bun in the back with what appears to be like almost an orange symbol that kind of goes through the hair, almost like, you know, the sort of thing you stick in a bun. Um, and as those two enter, they are also flanked by a, uh, actually, <laughs> a kobold. There is a kobold with them as well. Um, very short in stature, currently picking their teeth with what appears to be like a stick. Uh, they are a grayscale kobold wearing what appears to be, um, also somewhat heavy armor, even for such a small creature. 
uh, helmet kind of on the head with the ears peeking out. And as they kind of enter, they kind of stop and see the crowd of five people. And they kind of turn and you watch as the Minotaur and the gnome go, well, I believe that is. And the gnome's like, yeah, it's our time to go. Uh, see you, Marco. And the two of them leave. And as they leave, you hear them kind of yell out uh, to the man in the, uh, <laughs> who you assume is still perched up in the arrow slot. Come on, law sorts! And the three of them leave, leaving Marco and these three new clerics who have just entered the space. Is, hmm. is there anything to glean from their hasty retreat? Um, what's your background? <clears throat> uh, um, uh, my words are failing me right now. Guild artisan, right? That's the one. Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. Does anybody have the soldier background? Mm -mm. No. No. Nope. Then you don't know, unfortunately. As they kind of make their way out, the three kind of enter and kind of look. The kobold just looks like this. Eh, and just kind of walks away into a different room. Um, the elf immediately catches your eye, Milo. Mm -hmm. And kind of, there's a sort of like recognition of the cocking of the head where it's like, same shirt, like, or same hat, same hat kind of Game vibe to it. He's, he, he's oh, eating Spider-Man pose. Oh my god. Milo's got like the open the open mouth like fucking Mickey what kind of look. They kind of a smile creeps on their face and Marco kind of looks and goes, "Yes, they are." And you watch Zell goes, uh, "Hello. <laughs> my name is is Silverin. Are you also a worshipper of the light?" Oh, I think that's kind of self-evident, but but yes, oh, Silverin. Oh, I've been waiting all day to talk to you. I'm so sorry. I had I had day patrol. I mean, I the sun was out. I had to go out on day patrol. <laughs> no, I, I understand. Oh, uh, um. To whom do I? Uh, who who are you? What's your name? Where are you from? Um. I have, I'm doing a full introduction. Hang on. Um, my name is uh, <laughs> uh, Milo Brightbeam. Um, my uh, my father was um, uh, Galvin. Well then, oh, he kind of like lo they look kind of up and down, and they just kind of put a hand on their chest, and they're like, "You're, I see, to be walking amongst, truly." I've, uh, it's a long story. Uh, maybe no, no, no. I just, I just, I most individuals I know of your influence tend to be in. Um, kind of looks at the rest of the motley crew. I like to imagine that Gaius is like. <laughs> Punching a piece of meat in the meat locker, like there's like ham like hanging, and you're just punching it, Why tenderizing. Do you it? I'm always hitting things. <laughs> God, Would you not me. <laughs> no, not at this point. That's rude. Fair enough. I still imagine that in my mind. But you guys Fair are drinking enough. tea. The rest of you guys are sitting down drinking tea. Is anybody else doing anything in particular that I should know about, or are you guys just sitting down drinking tea? Um, uh, Eastkin would just be watching the exchange. He's still okay. trying to get a sense of like who all these clerics are. Guys, that's rude. He's drinking straight from the fucking kettle. <laughs> mouth mouth on the spout. No, no, mouth not on the spout. Mouth open, just pouring it in. <laughs> nice. Oh Her horrendously burned lips. Yeah, this is and... steamed. <laughs> oh, it doesn't phase him, but there's steam coming out of his ago. mouth. <laughs> I want to imagine he has like the weird South Park Canadian mouth that just unhinges at the side yeah. as he pours oh, in. <laughs> Uh, is, right? I'm Guy as a Bootman. Guy as a Bootman. Silaren kind of looks back to you and goes, I presume you're on a pilgrimage then. Uh, of, of sorts, I think so. Um, my father put me on a, a mission, and um, it's a rather grand one, and uh, I'm just looking for guidance. I, I still know so very little. Oh, um... So, For me, he kind of, they kind of point to themselves like, "Do you need you need me?" I actually, Soren, yes, actually. Um, oh, okay. I'm I'm sure you you may have already known, but um, I need to know what happened. And he kind of leans in a little bit. Twenty years ago. Twenty years. The appointment or the overturning or the eclipse. You might have Oh, that was 20... 
two years ago or three. He starts counting on his ago. fingers. <laughs> I don't have that many fingers. <laughs> yeah, Gaius is like hyperventilating that he only has ten. <laughs> so, da, he told me that um something really bad happened. And I've learned from my friends that there was an eclipse, and I can only imagine what kind of terrible things happened at that time, but I, I don't know what happened. And on on my way here, I, I ran into some people, and they just they just attacked me out of out of nowhere, just verbally, and, and I, I don't understand. I Da told me that... Oh, dear. I need oh, to... dear. Okay. I... He watches Silurin <laughs> kind of runs a hand down the back of their hair. <laughs> there is a lot to unpack. Um, uh, several things to unpack. Uh, the event of the eclipse has been notably undocumented, besides observational accounts. There are rumors that it may have been a potential side effect of um, one influenced as you. Um, uh, combined with uh, interplanetary, interplanar hands, more or less. Um, sort of a, 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 a light snafu. <laughs> they, they smile, like this big smile with a shrug. Um, that being said, in terms of the hostilities you may have endured, I myself am actually from Periton. Um... Our order wasn't the best. Well, what, what, what do you mean wasn't the best? Uh, there was uh, an order of Orin worshippers called the United Orin Clergy. Um, they were a theocracy, for lack of a better term, that ruled over Periton for a great many years. We somewhat reached our zenith in probably the past 25 years. Um, and we crashed and burned, for lack of a better term. Um, there was deep-rooted corruption, um, an overthrowing of a magnitude that was both equally as politically tumultuous as well as socially, um, a lot of turmoil. Um, that being said, before those events, the or United Orange Clergy was rather, I'm going to use the word zealotous in their strides for sharing the light with individuals, whether they wanted to or not. Um, so those who may have felt the ramifications of such Poisonous intentions no doubt may elicit some ire from individuals like us. So basically what you're saying is they hurt a lot of people. They did. Yes, they hurt a lot of people and their the side effects are still being felt to this day, despite 20 years passing. For humans, they may cope better, but for some longer livid, it, it's a part of a memory that doesn't seem to want to fade. Um, that being said, um, I mean, you and I have a duty to spread the good word and um, make up for these uh, misgivings, right? He, Milo kind of just looks down and he just says, that's the path that Dar set me on. I didn't know it was that bad, though. Um, yes, it is pretty good but it is it will get better currently in a position of power is lady soliandris herself and she has made strides in changing the structural of periton and in subsequently uh, the faith itself uh, though there are those that would disagree and prefer the olden days but um i mean we'll stop them of course so what's this Soliandris like I met her once you kind of you watch as they lean forward just kind of like pulling back their hair from in front of their face and kind of look inside the side because she's incredible apparently oh. mm. she usurped the corrupt speaker who wasn't even our speaker and took place at the head with a council of individuals who then 
have slowly but surely been changing Periton for the better. It is no, no longer under the yoke of such a... What's the word? Oppressive theocracy regime. And while it hasn't been smooth sailing, it has definitely improved the general attitudes of those in Periton. Those willing, of course. Um, there's been some resistance, but Soliandris has had a firm hand, but also a very strong sense of nobility and justice to her. She is, um, she's quite amazing, honestly. I, uh, he watches they get kind of, like, fanboy a little bit, like, kind of turning their oh. hair and just thinking about it, just like, oh, man, I, I just wish I, I could have stayed a bit longer, but, um, I was needed elsewhere, so off I went. But, That's um... Sounds like someone I'd love to meet, too. If you can. I mean, she's... <laughs> Probably the most busy woman in that entire country, I, I, I swear. Milo's going to take just a second to look back over to Otho. If he, if there's any sort of reaction from him and Kai at this point. Would I would I have any knowledge of, of what she just imparted? Uh, what they just imparted? Um, History check. Okay. Um... I imagine I'm only getting this due to my background. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, buddy. 12? Ooh. That's cocked. No, it's not. <laughs> this is for me. Um, <laughs> okay. Also, you've heard that... Um, I mean, you were very young at the time that this would have happened. Like, the dates, even. like I mean, you would have been... You wouldn't have cared. You are a kid. You know, you yeah. probably want to buy bubble gum or something. Funny, um, pretty black sun. Yeah, it was, well, it's fun and cool instead of like, oh my god, we're going to die. Um, the names the names that are being spouted, you've heard mentioned in your home, but not in like any sort of like lengthy discussion, more of just like a current events sort of discussion. You know, like, oh, this person's now in charge. I wonder how it's going to affect the trade of X or how it's going to affect Y. There's really not much you know, though, beyond what has just been said. So, at least in your memory. Otho will just give, like, a light, almost percept imperceptible shrug of his shoulders. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so, and if anything, I feel like I need to ask you, what, what can I do? It's such a big world out there, and what... Da asked me to do, it just seems almost impossible for just one person. Uh, I mean, the burdens of an Azamar are great and many, and, and, and I don't envy you, but I kind of envy you as well. <laughs> they kind of smile again. Um, but, I, oh, they kind of look towards you guys and go, uh, an Azamar, that's what your friend is, yes? 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 He's a halfling. Azamar halfling? <laughs> Are we splitting hairs here? What are you? No, I. there's no splitting of hair. You have many hairs and none of them are split. I just... It, have you not told them? Would any of us have heard of an Azimar before? Religion checks all of you. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> are you going to say for East Can with disadvantage? Oh. Okay, 17. Well, I'll ignore that 21 then. And oh. 5. Oh, buddy. This makes Eastkin, this makes a <laughs> lot of sense for your country. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, this is new. Um, oh, no. I, Dias, I a... <laughs> you've heard of, like, touched individuals, like people who have been touched by, you know, by entities of power, whether they be warlocks or, you know, fey touched or, you know, blessed individuals of various different, or cursed of various different degrees. So, so... you kind of correlate those. Okay, so I want you all... You know the Jesus Christ, how horrifying image? Yeah. Okay, that except Gaius is pogging as he's looking down at you. I've read stories about your people. Milo starts sweating profusely, looking side to side with the lying uh, your people and the excitement therein. In all the yeah. books my family has shown me, or at least the ones Uncle brought back, I've heard many stories about the folks that you come from. I mean, so, uh, would you like to share? Because that, that word doesn't of, really mean anything to me. Beings of bright light, creatures from the uh, from beyond the stars, come down to become mortal. I that's mean, no. Shrugged. That's 
I think you might have the wrong. Um, <laughs> do you want me to explain? Would you like to explain? I, 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 I think I've got it. So, okay. look, um, remember when I told you all that uh, I was introducing you to my father? <laughs> kind of nervous, shifting eyes of like, oh, I was really hoping we would never talk about this again. <laughs> <laughs> Are you made of fire? Uh, not quite, not quite. Um, yes, so... but actually, no, he's not. <laughs> he what just freaked again! <laughs> Milo's got the perturbed, freaking Rowlet face going on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so look, my father is is Galvin, and and he he's a he's a celestial of the hearth, and my my mother, Camellia, was a was a halfling. That's why I'm, you know, the size that I am, but with the characteristics that I have, I just didn't want to make it a big deal. I, I was so perturbed after that, uh, after that furious. incident in Pud. Guys is furiously, like, just rip, whipped out his book and he's writing in it now. So I, I wasn't lying when I said I was trying to introduce you to Da. It's sometimes, sometimes I see him there. Sometimes I don't, and I don't have any control over that, but, um, I, I just feel comfortable whenever I see that kind of uh, a fire. Celestials are uh, very fickle about how much they enter the material plane. They don't want to dip their hand too far into the affair of mortal beings as much as they can. It causes um, complications. Uh, maybe that is why the eclipse happened. Again, theories. No one really has talked about it at length, and the rumors are only that rumors. I wish I had better answers, but as far as I feel, um, it happened, it's done, and nothing bad happened to my knowledge, so I think we're all okay. Wait, what? so does that mean you've never actually met your dad? I've had very, very faint visions, maybe voices, but not really. And he looks, he like looks kind of heartbroken at that realization. I know who he is, and I know what, what he has me doing. The job that he set me out to do, but... I guess Guy's I don't... Like him. Oh, go ahead. I guess I don't know him that well. Guy slaps him you on the back, like a hearty <laughs> slap on the back. You have something to push you forward with, and that's all you need. I I guess. He, he, like, like he weakly smiles up at you, but it, it still kind of hurts face back down into the book, writing runes. I do wish I could have been of more help, but I am glad to have met you, Milo. It is nice to meet another of the cloth. Um, actually, I feel like this feels only right. He watches uh, Silurin kind of unlatch to something and hands you a very small bottle of holy water. Milo blinks. Holy um, water? Ah, uh, th thank you. I've I've never held any. I, have I? I don't know. <laughs> you would. It's pretty common, okay. actually. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you can you can go to a temple and buy it. Like literally, every temple sells one. Like if gotcha. you just go there. You got two kinds. You've probably of stuff seen it, but you probably never bought it before, though, yeah. because it's expensive. It's like what a hundred gold. Uh, I'd have to look, but I think it's anywhere uh, between twenty to fifty gold. It's it's the, it costs the the component to cast a ceremony spell right. to make holy water. So yeah. Thank you. I. Oh. Wait, no, I have something for you. And he like he like like a kid gets really giddy. I um uh, there was an Orin temple uh on that I we discovered on our way here. And oh. um he, he looks up. Excellent. I I I I'm not familiar. I'm from South. I I came from Periton, so I haven't been to anywhere else but Martorallo, so from the eastern side of Eastern Vale, there was a temple and um it it did give us some security and safe passage, but um, I, I grabbed one of these and I, I want you to have one. And I'm going to hand him one of the candles of colors. Okay. They take it and kind of look at it and they're like, thank you so much. It's beautiful. Screw um, him. Milo's gonna hug him. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> kind of pats you on the head a couple times. Well, I'm glad that I've met you as well. I should, though, get to my post, or else Marco is going to give me an earful. 
and Marco just like is sipping the tea and kind of shrugs like you beat me to it and just kind of keeps sipping their tea. I understand. It was uh, so nice to see you. It was nice to meet you as well, and, and uh, very nice to meet the rest of you. Um, though we didn't exchange words, kind of nods towards you, Kai. Uh, he'll look up from a book and uh, just acknowledge them. They kind of turn and immediately make their way back up where you notice the armored individual left. They head back up that way. The dragonborn, you guys all notice at this point, is currently holding that bottle of the ash you collected. And is, you can't really see their face, but there's been a long sort of look at that and kind of moving in their hand. Do you, do you see something? I do. Sorry, go ahead, Mark. Nope, that's what I was going to ask. Sorry. It's all good. A curse that runs dangerous and deep. They hand back the bottle to you and go, Don't open that here in Mortarallo. I can't guarantee what it'll do. Is this anything we should be having anyway? I don't know why you'd want to pick it up in the first place. Well, we, we thought that maybe if someone had a sample, there could be some kind of research done to fight it, prevent it, or cure it. I'm not one to dash hope, but it's been a year since the Ash Plague began. If there was a cure, you'd think someone would have found it by now. I mean, not if people stop looking. Do what you will. But hope that Hoke has someone to meet you on the other side. And they kind of turn and begin to walk away. And as the door closes, Marco goes, don't let it get to you. He's always being cryptic and kind of scary. It's just, I think it's just part of the training. Uh, I don't know. Well, I hope you got what you were looking for. I'm shaking to my core. <laughs> drinks oh, from the kettle again. Drinks from the kettle again. Okay, that's still incredibly hot. All right. I well don't mean to sound judgmental, but you, you all seem so well different from one another. So how did you all end up getting posted here? Well, for me, there was, I just landed in Matarallo from Tricadia. I was intending to move on to Alavas, actually. There's a lot of magical things there. But then I saw a job posting offering quite the bounty to be posted here for a while. Um, and, you know, I was looking for work and eventually I found myself up here. At the time, there was only five people here. Um, but we have about, he starts to count on his fingers, ran out of fingers, uh, 15 <laughs> individuals here, I'd say. Um, most people have stuck around. I mean, there's moments of excitement when something breaches the, um, the wall. Um, but beyond that, it's very well paid, very easy job. So Yeah. We get along okay. Um, the only time we ever <laughs> have any trouble is with Jillian. Uh, she uh, she is really good at cards. And there have been some arguments when some people betted money. And that's why we don't bet money anymore, basically. Um, but it's not for the most part. We just get along. I mean, we're coworkers. We're not really like, you know, die for each other uh, yet. <laughs> definitely protect each other but you know it's it's fine we make it work and i mean we don't really fight over well sometimes we do have little spats here and there but i think that's just normal when you've been boxing with the same people for about a year or more so i don't know i don't really have a clear answer for you i wish i did well i think i think we get along because we, we Actually, you know what? He kind of strokes his chin. I think we get along because we have no real choice to do otherwise. Well, with all your talents, have you actually learned anything about, you know, what's going on at the border? 
What we've managed to discern, and again, we haven't been hired to research it, we've been hired to defend the people of Martorallo, at the very least the roads of Martorallo. It is ever-present, whatever it is, it is incredibly strong. And with Eastonvale in particular, whatever is anchoring this curse is very powerful. And I hate to break it to you, but if you want to charter that entire country, I don't think you're going to get the chance until whatever that is, the source of this is, goes away. Uh, if that's well, even possible. It's not really uh, restricted to Easton Vale, and I'm hoping to live long enough that, you know, I get the chance. Yeah, we've heard about the undead rising from the ocean. That's fun. About that, is it literally just the ocean and it if so just, how Sorry, to my no. knowledge it is just the ocean though the ash plague did cut out through the eastern part of Montarallo but to be fair you don't go to the eastern part of Montarallo unless you are toting something really expensive or you just want to die it's called the dead road for a reason but to my knowledge based on what I've heard and I mean I'm dealing with the undead over here the southern parts it's just undead coming out of the beachside dead sailors you know sunken crew just rising back up and taking it out on the living plenty of pirates i imagine pirates sailors fishermen everything to my knowledge hearing the word pirate guys face just like is beaming with a fucking smile Skelly, skeletal pirates just like hot like kind of like vibrating like up and down in his chair just like I've heard rumors of poisoned water and via Sulai, and there's other places beyond that. Who knows how they've been affected? My fear is that Eastonville isn't the worst of it. Have you had any clues to get you to come to that decision? Eastonville. He points out towards the direction. I'm confused. He said that he, he was afraid that Easton Vale wasn't the worst of it? Yeah, it wasn't the worst of the Ash Plague. I'm just confused at the response. Because I was asking, like, what... It, it, was there anything else besides Easton Vale that would give him that hunch? No, he just said Easton Vale only. Ah, uh, okay. He kind of... To the season you're confused, he goes, Listen, the difference between Martorallo and Easton Vale with whatever the fuck the Ash Plague did to it is night and day. I mean, undead coming from the water is bad, but, like, this, just an entire wall of fog and nothing in there can live, and it's, to be quite frank, it's a nightmare. That is vastly different to what Marallo is experiencing. And something about that feels just intentional, or there's something more there, if that makes sense, right? I suppose, but... Like we said, that fog, I, I don't think it's there anymore, and we did see some green growing. Well, it's a start. It certainly isn't an end. Anyway. You have to start somewhere. It's true. So that what you intend to do? You want to lift the curse there? I suppose that would make us a bunch of heroes, wouldn't it, guys? <laughs> well... If you are interested in doing that, and Marco kind of leans for it. God's sake. Jesus. Snake? Marco, they caught you. Get Colonel. out of there. Colonel. Okay. We're gonna he watches Marco cursed. grabs a cardboard box and immediately goes inside of it. Where'd he go? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was my phone. It's okay. Uh, Marco kind of leans in close and goes, if you guys are interested in attempting to save the place, we met this weird lady once. This dead woman. I don't say. Mm -hmm. We couldn't let her in to Martorallo because kind of have a strict no one dead policy. But she could hold a conversation. And yeah, usually you get the heebie-jeebies when it comes to undead creatures. But something about her was, I don't know, just different. And she mentioned that, um, well, she was looking for people to help her with something. But... Um, you know, we had our job, and yeah, 
well, if you notice her, if you ever see a lady with a shovel, kind of glowing eyes, first of all, make sure she's not actually a zombie, but second of all, try and start up a conversation. She seems noble at the very least. I just, I don't know. I just think her goals are a bit of a pipe dream, but not, again, I don't want to dash too much hope. I, I guess we'll keep that in mind. Everyone rolled deception checks. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I just agreed with them. We're owl exterminators. <laughs> yeah. 18. Not bad. 13. 8. 12. It's a group check. It's a group check. Okay. Come on, Otho. Come on, Otho. I believe in you. Hopefully Connor's there. Connor! Hey. May have had he, might dog have had to, business. he may have had to get dog out. Well, mm. those three three of those checks do succeed because I rolled terribly. Okay. So Marco kind of leans back and goes, Yep, that's the best advice I can give you. Well, that's fair enough. Uh what time of day is it at this point? It's like sundown. Mm. Sorry, I had to take that. No yeah. worries. Um, so I guess for the remainder of the night, until it is super sleepy time, I was just going to go hang out with, um, uh, Cillerin on their watch. Bad news. This place doesn't have lodgings for you. <laughs> this is a garrison. It is not a inn. We got bed rolls. Yeah. You guys have to camp outside, unfortunately. I'm very sorry. Oh, yeah. no. Whatever shall we do? So you spend some time with Cillerin. They definitely grew up in Periton, but they were, they're kind of a younger elf. Mm. Definitely way more bright-eyed. Um, they mentioned that, oh, I've traveled to the archipelagos, and I stopped in Cethelia. The city is amazing. And, oh, I came mm. over, blah, blah, blah. Kind of telling yeah. all these stories. And, you know, there's a certain point where you've been traveling all day, and you're kind of getting tired and kind of glazing over. But eventually, you all bed down for the night. No checks are necessary, as you are currently in very, very, probably the safest place you could possibly be. Yeah. Um, surrounded by 13 clerics and a giant ass garrison. Um, <laughs> imagine yeah. there's still a I want to imagine all 13 of them just in a circle, like a chain <laughs> around, circle yeah. around us. Uh, yep. No, they are what not. A, whatever free time there was at night, Gaius was just gonna, like, sneakily, like, try to, like, obviously not as inconspicuous as he wants to be but just like sneak his way over to like the training area and just fucking bash some dummies in oh yeah they're really haphazardly made but they they, they take hits they're pretty good good sneaky punches i got a lab guys... listen i got a lab all right <laughs> you guys uh kind of make a fire for the night set up your watches cook a delicious meal right off a of ration because mm -hmm. no rations are provided here Again, it is a garrison. It is not a place of buying and selling. I'm very sorry. How dare! We recently just restocked, so I think we're good. Yeah, yeah we're yeah. fine on that. Should be okay. Hopefully. At least for or now. Or we'll die. And as dawn dawns, I need I 3d20s, please. I'll do it. Six, oh. seven, and nine. Okay. One second. Well, then. That I was almost thought, a straight. <laughs> I thought it was two sixes. I didn't see the dots at first. Yeah. And I was like, whoa. The weather of the beast. Just a heads up. Uh, this place has different weather. Okay. Oh, no. It's a desert. Oh, wait. It's, it's hailing squirrels. Good job. I mean, it's Not a grassland. Again. <laughs> it's, fuck. It's, it's a flat grassland, so, you know. Oh, God. Tornadoes, Mark. Monty wouldn't put tornadoes in the game. Would she? I would not. Oh. I'm scared of Much tornadoes, as I would dude. enjoy it, she wouldn't. And that is your weakness. Now we know what we will never face. <laughs> wind! <laughs> <laughs> Very strong Not wind. that bad. I, I actually can handle, like, video game tornadoes and stuff. It's just, like, the actual natural disaster. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really hard. Sorry, just, I just gotta... You just gotta dig a hole in the ground. You'll be fine. Yeah, sure. Honestly, yeah, being in a ditch is God. the safest place. Just don't be in an under, don't be in an overpass or an Please, underpass like you taught in school. God in just, just fucking, you roll a one. Guys is standing there and he's like, his fucking like fur is like, like all the way like three inches behind him. It's heckin' windy. All right, <laughs> we have six, seven, and nine. Good news. No wind. 
lovely day, very pleasant temperature. Yay. Hooray. Hooray. What's the bad news? Horrible encounter <laughs> waiting. <laughs> yeah. There's an ogre sitting right outside. Bad news just, like, a like, down on die. Oh, shit. Let's go. Let's go. Finally, we we, we, we literally take one step outside, and there's like an ogre fish that slams down on top of Otho. <laughs> Uh, as you guys actually awake, the door kind of opens, and coming out is, um, oops, sorry, I gotta grab a name here. Uh, you see a dwarf, a male dwarf, kind of, kind of make his way out, and kind of walks over with, like, a tin cup in his hand, currently hot with what looks like that same tea. Mm -hmm. And he kind of goes over, and he goes, you! You lot! Mm. Yes? I heard you were heading down to uh, Quincunks. Yeah. <laughs> that is the plan. You think you could do a grubby dwarf a favor? What's he need? My cousin lives down there, and I want to give her something. This is a this is a dwarf. Was this yeah. one of the uh, clerics? Yeah, he appears to be a cleric. He is like the most like square man you've seen in your life <laughs> like he is wearing like heavy armor that's really angular and like that classic dwarven style armor Ma that's like very boxy in nature Monty, now i just imagined him as like a fucking minecraft character that actually is really accurate <laughs> oh no I'm not even gonna lie. it's ps1 accurate. hagrid <laughs> he's, got a little bit, yeah. he's he's wearing like a very like almost looks like a stone helmet that's like very boxy in nature um and just spilling out you just see like two eyes just hidden kind of in the shade of like the light that's kind of over top and then like just explosion of a black beard that has a little bit of gray kind of peppered in uh, and he kind of goes my my younger cousin uh glenda ailsoker lives there and uh i want to give her this and he kind of hands you over what appears to be a uh, a locket of some kind All right, I'll take that. I'll make sure it, it gets belonged, there. It belonged to our mother, so make sure that it doesn't get nicked or anything like that. I, uh, no problem whatsoever. And a little bit for your trouble. And you watch as the dwarf kind of shuffles around in his pocket and goes, bloody out of and just kind of like hoists up like part of it and kind of like rustles in and then eventually pulls out what appears to be and kind of counts them out, hands you five gold coins. Oh, oh, sick. That's a lot of money comparatively. I just imagine he pulled out emeralds. I'm sorry, the Minecraft is going to be fucking full here now. At least he doesn't have a big schnoz. <laughs> Money, does he? He has have a big nose, yes. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. some Squidward. He kind of turns to all of you and goes, go ahead and tell her that it's her, from her uh, Uncle Fazden Grumblemaker. Or Uncle Grumblemaker. Fazbin Grumblemaker? Grumblemaker, Faz, fuck Faz yeah. Fazdan Grumblemaker, Grumblemaker, fuck Faz yeah. Okay. Yeah. Faz Dan Grumblemaker, fuck yeah. Um, where where might we find her? Like, does she have an she address? She works. Uh, oh yeah, she has an address. Uh, she works at the Ale Soak Whetstone Blacksmithy with her husband. Oh boy, <laughs> trials. And that's in Quincunsk, you said. It is, I. Hey, right, we'll take care of that. Very much appreciated. Also, Marco wanted me to tell you, good luck on your journey. Don't get killed by goblins or, I don't know, snatched by some big bird or something. Do so you have big birds around here? I've seen a few big ones, but mostly they keep to the mountains. I they have their head to a rock. <laughs> yeah, no, you wouldn't have heard of the rock, no. It's okay, I snapped a bird's head in half. Well, then you're in good company. And the dwarf looks at the rest of you and points towards Gaius. Always trust a man who uses an axe. And he watches, he kind of shoulders his own and walks back into the building and <laughs> closes the door. If, if Gaius could do the fucking, like, Dante pizza gremlin, like, pose as they're walking <laughs> off. <laughs> All right. All right, let's make our way then. Okay, you guys begin to head out. You've rolled your weather check, and it is a very, very beautiful day. 
I need someone for me to roll me a D100. Oh, I do. do oh, it. go ahead. Go ahead. Zito got next. Yeah. 39. 39. Okay. As you guys travel, would you like to do any role play or would you guys like to continue traveling? Uh, I'd like to forage on the way, if okay. possible. Go ahead, and, go ahead and roll a survival check then. I'm kind of good. Can I? Anybody uh, never else? Mind. I, I don't know. Uh, I guess Gaius is like, just going to be like, like kind of like mulling to himself just like so if i work for this company or if i work for this company i can probably like he's he's like basically like talking to himself about his plans about like t at least trying to work for either of the three companies that were mentioned is so, he doing that out loud kind of he's like mumbling it to himself like he's like not like you know that thing where it's just like all right visual notice don't like idea it's like a, like talking into a tape recorder sort of thing mm. um i've actually got a question for everyone Mm. we're gonna have yes. to go back we're gonna have to go back that way and if we've got that bead they're gonna be very curious what we're doing with it uh, so then I we don't go back that way I'm gonna look back Monty are there any obvious ways back that aren't mountainous <laughs> Uh, this appears to be nestled between which makes sense uh, mm. appears to be nestled between two mountains yeah well, we might have to try and hide it, but I think we might be getting ahead of ourselves here. I'm just saying, I think maybe if it comes down to it, they'd be trustworthy to tell. <sighs> They've already met Lynn. They do. Well, they do work for Oslamir Harland, and we have a missive for him, so we could, in all likelihood, get a missive back from Oslamir. Allowing us safe passage without any hassle. Oh, I didn't think about that. Good on you, Otho. You mean Greg? Oh, are we really gonna go with those names? What was what was Kai's name? Smelmar. Scrungo. 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 That's right, Scrungo, the Irish boy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can we can still go by the names, but. Scrungle over here, I think, needs to drop the voice. No offense. Uh, why? I I'm not sure it was very convincing. How do you know? He hard looks at you <laughs> really hard. The point to the dice roll <laughs> in the well, sky. If <laughs> well, if that's the case, I'm going to need to change my voice then. Maybe it should be something like this. I don't think any of you need to change your voices or your aliases at all. Oh, that would, that's going to ruin the fun, though. I mean, you can Actually, if you it's want It's very to. strange. I'm not... They didn't seem that concerned about me or Gaius at all. The fool's the lot of them. <laughs> All right, so I would just say you're intelligent. Hi, you, you would pick up on this. It didn't seem like because you were reading and just kind of absentmindedly probably listening in. And I would say you would be able to determine that most of the people there were foreigners. They were not from Marrallo. So that's good for that particular stop. Yeah, that means like that's probably why they weren't so confused because you know. So are we still going with the whole Greg and Scrungle fun? Unless you want to make might. up your own aliases. It might be best for the time being. I don't really have practice in coming up with an alias, but I think Greg will work for now. Yeah, nobody's going to believe that that's my name. That's kind of what I was thinking. Scrungo. I, I would. Kind of sounds... Gnomish. Yeah, but Kai's gonna gesture to his very large <laughs> body. <laughs> gonna, yeah, Milo's looking with great confusion. You are, ah, yes, gnome. I see. you are two gnomes stacked on top of each other. Well, what do you think, Kai? I mean, oh, what if I, what if we just remember my friend who I used to always go to the library with? What if I just used his name? 
What was his name again? Uh, Bracken. Or two. Oh, yes, that one. You are such that's, a bastard. That's I am not right. Right. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Fucking excellent. Good. You know, I just since we're talking about names and interesting names that can mean a lot of things, I think that's the way to go. That man is on my shit list right now. What I oh, have no, no. What are you talking about? I have well, no idea. Do you, do you, was your friend from Martorello as well? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, okay. As long as you don't think anyone would recognize him and it's a common recognize name. Recognize the name. Is it? It's, well, a, it's a pretty common name, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, if that's the case, I guess I could use a name from a acquaintance I had back at home. I believe his name was Onslow. This is getting too real. I need this to stop. <laughs> no, I no, refuse to stop this. Guys, I don't think you need to change. I think it's just me and Otho, and the rest of us will be fine. You start changing this around is too many fun, names. fun, though. Uh, I assure you, it's not very fun for us. Oh, you, you did very well. sort of introduce yourself at the at the fort by your real name, so. What? Gaius. Damn it. It's true, you did. Uh, <laughs> Damn it. That's Damn it. fine. <laughs> It like kicks uh, a rock. <laughs> <laughs> so, money? Did I find anything? You do. Um, you actually find like some natural spring onions. They're like, you know, they're Ooh. spring onions. They grow in spring, and they're kind of hard to pick out in the grass. But you do find some, and it garnishes your dish. I'll give you one ration for that Ooh. one. Hooray! You found a leek. Delicious. Dude, those, are, <laughs> those are scrumptious. Oh, I'm hungry now. And as you guys camp for the night, again, no event occurred. You guys gather around the campfire, sing your campfire song, and you guys make your food. Happy fire song! Sing a happy fire song! I would like another weather roll, please. I'll do oh, wait. Zia was going to do it. You can do it again. Do it. Go ahead. Just marked off a uh, ration, everybody. I wanted yeah. to take the percentile anyway. Yeah, Zeno needs to take the percentile so, oh. so we can blame him. Five, nine, and 15. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my God. I just. <laughs> oh no. Oh, don't you, die. Did you eat a cricket? I'm sorry. No, I just inhaled my own saliva mm. by accident. Ugh. It is. As you guys kind of wake up for the morning during the last watch, you begin to hear a sound. Oh. What what kind of sound? You feel something on your face. Oh. Uh, oh no. Train. Oh, train. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, that's <laughs> fine, but it's red. No! <laughs> it has been a while since you guys have experienced rain. But there is a long. very... Well, it's been a year and how long? Well, no, it was raining in fucking... Um, it didn't rain in Oh, Earthland. that's right. Yeah, Triss. That's yeah, right. it was Never raining mind. in Triss. I don't know my own game. I'm sorry. But it is raining, um, and as you guys kind of bundle yourselves up, uh, it becomes muddy as hell. And I would like that percentile roll, please. Okay. Would we be able to gather the day's worth of water in the bucket, just collecting yeah. rain? Okay. Someone had to hold it above their head. Oh, a bucket. 34. Okay. I'm going to reveal the map here for you. Yay. <gasps> you can see it's so clear to see even with the rain kind of blocking your view you can see the patchwork fields of a massive farm homestead just off on the horizon it blankets and kind of carpets over the hill ahead of you i think that's probably apple bottom oh then we're going the right way then All right. Gallop our way on over then. We're galloping? Okay. I mean, I can. I was uh, going to say, you're the only one with hooves. Monty, may I look for more food? 
You may, yes. This okay. is a blank tile, so you're good. Cool. Money. Uh, may I guidance myself now that I can not, declare? Not not for this. You're doing this over the course. Oh, of your over the course. Yep, yep, yeah. yep, yep. So yep. there's okay. no guidance. Uh, for this. Same for perception checks. If it's over the course of the movement, then yeah. Uh, Two oh, and one. I Good. found rain. It is. <laughs> You're having a, the worst time, Milo. You're yeah. heavy with your armor, and like yeah, it is stinky. like almost like ankle deep mud that is occurring right now. Oh, it's up to my waist. I have to get oh. pulled out of the mud I'm a couple so times. Someone just DM'd me. I, I'm so sorry, Chad. I had the screen block the entire time. Oh, Marco. no. Marco is in the way, but he was so handsome. We had to keep him up for longer. I'm very sorry. Thank you so much, LJ, for letting me know about that. We, we, need, some, we need someone to do handsome Squidward, but Marco. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Monty, cool. would you say I'm... I'm relatively at home here with the rain and the mud and everything. It's nice. The mud is a bit rough, though. The mud you're not too used to. Um, okay. It is broken up with the occasional kind of gravelly rock. Um, but again, this place is not well-traveled, and it becomes even more apparent the further you get from the garrison of how, you know, the lacking of, of use. Mm. So for you guys, it unfortunately does slow your progress quite a bit. But... Um, you guys can either slow down for the day or forge ahead and risk exhaustion. It is up to you. I'm fine with that. Ooh, I'm up for whatever. I'm fine for bedding down for the night. Yeah, I would say we should take it easy. And as long as well, we can buy more rations at Apple Bottom. Well, well we don't have any. We're not hurting for rations, though, so. We are, we are going to be sleeping in the rain, though. That's my concern too. Well, okay, but you can, we can make that. Uh, I guess, would there be any sort of role we would need to do or something where nope. we could make bedding that would if you, keep us if above you don't have a tent, level? if you don't have a tent and you don't have a structure to house in, you will automatically all take points of exhaustion for the night. Oh, the we may as well just fucking book it. Oh, yeah, then. yeah, we may as well. Okay. If we're going to take a point of exhaustion anyway, we might as well yeah. just push forward. All right, Constitution Push saving throws head. from everybody then. Push your head to the town. Ah, uh, good. Two and three. <laughs> Seven. Okay, Kai. I guess it makes sense. I am in the muddy waste. You're yeah. You're having a rough go of it. Kai, I need a and Constitution saving throw. Too. Okay. Uh, Otho, man. Milo. Uh, only you two take a point of exhaustion. Oh, I'm sleepy. As you guys forge ahead, and as you make your way into Apple, apple Bottom uh, Fields, there's no town here. It is just like these houses that are kind of like off. The most centralized position you can find is a well that kind of sits in the middle between all of them equally. And there is not a soul here. And as the rain patters down on your shoulders, that's where we're going to take our break. Oh, boy. Cool. Oh, good. I'm going to go to the bathroom then. Yeah. All right. Sure, this is other people's problem now. I will reveal more of the map here as well. I'm very sorry, Chad. I'm very, very sorry. I wasn't aware of that. Sorry. Hi, guys. Welcome to the halftime show. What's oh, going on? Jesus Christ. Hello, Moscow. Oh, I'm oh. back. Better than ever. I've been hearing a lot more of you lately because my wife picked up Guilty Gear Strive and guess what she made? Hey. Yeah. Somebody in the YouTube comments was like, it's weird hearing you in stereo while I beat up Chip while I listen to the Unexpectables. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> yes, I do read all of your comments. You madman. Yeah. That's how I know who all the crap talkers are. God, I hope he doesn't find mine. <laughs> you sent it to me on Discord and then posted it on YouTube. What Damn did you saw it happen? Damn it, he saw it! <laughs> <laughs> Shit, my actions have consequences. No! No! What? Don't you freaking freaks realize that your actions have consequences? I thought the internet was a complete veil. Fictional characters have Speaking feelings. Rain, there is a, looks like there's some really black clouds outside, so hopefully nothing happens. Why the clouds gotta be black, Monty? Because they're full of water and they're ready to pee. Uh-huh. Speaking of, I'll be right back. I gotta pee. All right, thanks for sharing. 
That's the kind of stuff you can look forward to on the Bosco Halftime Show. Riveting conversations like Zito needing to pee or Monty talking about black clouds. Meanwhile, don't forget to vote on our halftime show poll. Currently, who's digging in the mines for diamonds? Is it Monty, Nathan, Chad, or me? You guys have fun with whatever that is. Also, don't forget to grab a bingo card. If you don't have a bingo card, you're probably not on the Discord. If you're not on the Discord, what are you doing? The Discord is where you can find wonderful things like those bingo cards, like lounges where you can talk during the game with your fellow watchers. Also, we do Q&As on the Discord that sometimes never even show up on the YouTube channel, which means the only way you'll ever get to hear them is if you join the Discord. DR9G0TSUN. Thank you for the 100 bits. Way to go, group. Hopefully that not. I don't know what that means. Hey, I like how Ghosty's first post is the Discord link. Nah, I'm good. Too overstimulating. Well, then I I feel bad for you during this show because we we all talk a lot. Da 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 da. Why do I need to pick up a pickaxe and start digging? That doesn't seem like... Ah, oh, gosh darn it. Nathan was winning, but here I go having to dig again. Uh, 100 bits from DR9G0TSUN. Nothing bad to happen. Ah, oh, I see. It was an edit. Got it. Uh, Fantastic Callum, thank you for the 50 bits. Pre-ordered and am now very hyped for Digimon Survive. Having fun so far this session. Uh, Emerald Bandit, thank you for the 200 bits. I've been playing through Sunbreak while listening and can't wait to see what Monty throws at y'all next. Well, thank you. Oh, gosh darn it, I guess. So, guys, I just want to let you know that after the halftime show, I will not be role-playing. I have to go to the mines, apparently. So I, appreci I appreciate that all of you came to show up and for those of you that were hoping to hear me do stuff. I'm sorry. I got to go dig up some good, some diamonds or something. I don't know. You know, I started watching High Rollers before the uh, before the show today. I thought you might like Kai's voice, Brawl Kaiser. I don't have the cup, so it's a little different. But you know, here we are. Uh, Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the fifty bits. So Twitch decided to be an idiot and didn't give me the poll until I refreshed. Well, <laughs> it's not like you would have helped because uh, apparently uh, they just want me to dig. In the lines. This is dumb. Uh, hey, Bosco, watching you guys help me recover from my pulled out tooth. Watching you guys while eating ice cream is the best. You know what's even better? Eating ice cream. That's true. Straight up. Pretty good. Yeah. I don't know why you would ruin it by listening to us with the ice cream, but thank when you. I was for a child. I swallowed a marble, and my parents didn't know what to do, so they called the doctor, and the doctor told me to eat ice cream. But now that I'm an adult, I don't think they called the doctor. I think they just gave me ice cream to not be upset about it anymore. I mean, that wouldn't surprise me. Let's see me the robot. Thank you for giving a tier one sub to Brawl Kaiser. Also, Hydralore Plays says with a tier one subscription, Hey, Bosco, I knock an arrow. Uh, give me one second. Monty, you might want to take your headphones off for this. Huh? Fuck you! There we go. Christ, I just you. sat back down. What the hell was that? I heard uh, that as I was coming into my fucking office. Yeah, I, I listen, I warned people to take the headphones off. Yeah, I wasn't there for that. What? What? Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, Raw Sodium, thank you for the 200 bits. Zito, quick, play clown music for better roles. Also, have some birthday bits, seeing as I'm turning 23 in less than 30 Ugh. minutes. Yo, happy Ooh, birth, Miss happy birth. July, baby. Yo, oh, I need tea. Shoot. I'm, I'm that hurt my ear, right right you bully. Now. Yep, that sounds about right. How does it feel to be in the optimal birthday month, birthday boy? Girl, the, why is it the Wow, I like how you month. just... I, okay, you know what? I wasn't going to take that as a win, but now I will, so thank you. I was going to say that I was born during a hurricane, but I like that better. Did it rock you? Look at who I am now today. Sure fucking did. 
Uh huh. Excellent birthday tech. But there aren't hurricanes in New York. That's not true. Yeah, tell that to the guy who lost his house to Hurricane Sandy. I was gonna say. I I was I was this joke I was of this course place there are my home for two years. years. So I you know I never know with people these days, Mark. So I don't know. You, the, it's me talking about weather. That's especially why I was worried. The atom bomb. I'm was mad at you. Minutes. Question for Monty. Whoa. Aside from the end, are there any gods that would be like Cthulhu in the land of Alavast and beyond, asking for warlock ideas? Oh God, I hope you find out. All Ooh, right. Well, that's not ominous. ominous at all. Yep. Gaius will be the best Cthulhu worshiper ever. I mean, there's still Havity. Fuck that guy. No, well, he's I not Havity but... anymore now. Uh, what are we talking about? What voice tears up all, your throat? All Hang that on, I'm I really scroll. Is probably the Pantheon of Ko is probably the weirdest. Uh-huh. The weirdy boys. Weird child. Also, I'm very happy that people like the return of my Onslow voice. Of course. <laughs> Anything that sends pain through Monty's body and also is nostalgic. Why would that be pain? She didn't play in the game. I don't know. She clearly was in pain. <clears throat> See, she was clearly, she's screaming from the other room. Is that, nonsensically. What, what are you trying to say, Monty? Are you saying I can't DM anymore? No. What is that, Monty? What, which, which well? Uncle Wait, Jimmy, no. Where, where are they? Burnout Vaughn with 100 bits. Does this mean that you're taking you warlock application? Well, Bosco. What happened? Who's in the well, Monty? Who's there? Now, son, who's in the well? Quick, Monty, show us which well. She's gone. <laughs> She's Follow in the Bob, well thank now. you for the 500 bits. The beans, Zito. The beans. It's okay. The beans. Uh, <laughs> the Every raw sodium with 85 bits. Uh, CO has no clerics, just heavily armored warlocks, I like to think. Uh, Draconian 9 with the 200 bits. Loving the episode so far. Also, Monty, did Taylor break out of the previous campaign? Notice there's going to be a pigeon simulator, and it seems like it'd be something they'd try to mastermind. Be ready for their Twitch star debut when they play that game and only that game exclusively. Is I'm there V2? Is there V2 model of pigeon? Friend yet? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, that's right. Flurmort. <laughs> In the background, it's just a forest. Flurmort gets them a fucking computer as a gift. <laughs> anyway. I built you a computer out of trees and shrubs. Is everybody back? I mean, I think so. I'm, I'm slowly computers. sharpening down my last piece of okay. pizza, but sure. Yep. Computers All right, guys. Just Everyone's back with my needs. It's time for me to go. I'll catch you on the next halftime show. Monty, take it away. Bye, guys. Okay. So, the five of you now stand in the center of Apple Bottom Fields, but it is not a town. It is just apparently a bunch of different, um, what appears to be farmsteads, all kind of interconnected together in kind of a patchwork sort of way. And you said there's no one around? Nope. There are no buildings whatsoever? Oh, there are buildings, yes, but they're like off like kind of trail off the road to these sort of homes there's no like centralized like kind of like you know like a town square or anything like that there's nothing like that here there is a well you found like a well kind of on the road and then the the road kind of like springs off in various directions probably towards these homesteads is there there's a home small village or a group of houses there is Monty. no small village no are there are there a bunch of trees and odd places in this collection of buildings? <laughs> Roll a perception check. To receive the tree. Seventeen. Okay. Through the rain, you kind of peer. Uh, there are trees to your right, but they do not give you menacing intent. Uh, are there any large barns? There are. Um, there appears to be... Uh, there are two, it looks to be two very large barns. One that's very big. Uh, and another one that seems to be, like, large, but not, like, colossal in size. 
Are there any livestock near these barns? Um, you do notice sort of specks moving around, some small specks, and then with the barn that has the bigger size to it, you do see some somewhat larger specks. And I'm gonna say with the 17 from Eastcan, you guys all being pointed out to that direction, it looks to be some cattle of some kind. Ooh, uh, do, you, do you all think that maybe we could stop by um one of those places that has the bigger barns and maybe see if we could stay there? Uh... I don't know, this is starting to feel strangely familiar. Empty town. No real signs of activity. East yeah. I haven't I haven't slept in over twenty four hours. I want somewhere to bed down. I mean, are you afraid to have to eat more chickens like last time? No, I was kind of more concerned about zombies and evil trees, but you know, it's not, it doesn't look like a cursed place. It doesn't look on hollow. All the trees look fine, Eastgun. I think you're just being a little paranoid. If worse comes to worse, we can just chop another lizard chicken in half. I forgot about that. Right. What time is it? Oh. All right, let's go. Let's just be careful. Okay. Oh, well, Where are you guys heading to? Let's approach good. the barn. Yeah, the, the bigger one. All right, you guys head down the sort of winding path. It's well used. Luckily, gravel down, so no mud, thank goodness. Uh, you guys, by the way, are filthy. Like, mm -hmm. waist height, filthy. Milo, all the way up to your breastplate. Like, that yellow I and know. yellow is, like, brown now. It's I'm pretty sad. Gross. I have soap, though. <laughs> uh, this is fun. <laughs> uh, as you guys kind of make your way towards the bar, you see that there's a very simple sort of wooden um, like fence to it, uh, but there's also a lot of like stone fencing, you notice, which is not very common, but you've, I think Otho and Kai, you would know that there's not a lot of trees here. Um, and as you approach, you count probably about 100 heads of cattle currently in this massive pasture currently, you know, chewing cud and kind of looking over towards you. Bells kind of gong, 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 gong on their neck. Uh, you can see that the barn is obviously attached to the paddock, but there is a period, there appears to be a house kind of not like next to it, but like kind of a little ways off amongst some other smaller buildings, including what appears to be um, like a smaller kind of like shed looking area. Uh, I would like to go to the front door and knock if anyone else wants to do otherwise. I will join you. I'm sure farmers would love to see a giant goat. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, Kai, Otho, or Iskan? Anything? Hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm within sight, but I'm standing cautiously out of the way. Okay. What's up, Connor? It probably would 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 just be hanging around and go and going on with this plan. Okay. I'm not sure. Would it be metagaming to ask everyone's charisma? Who is the most charismatic? I have a fourteen. I also. I also have a fourteen. Oh shit! Fourteen charisma. Let's go. I have a twelve. Would Otho like to do the talking then? Because I would have disadvantage. No, oh, wait, no, you would have disadvantage too, wouldn't you? I would have disadvantage. <laughs> Let me speak. I want to see the fear in them as the giant goat stands before them. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. Hello. We've had enough. <laughs> We've had enough. Let We've had in. enough. <laughs> We're starting a union that today. Let people go. Oh, they're all, all, sitting. They're all, all sitting eating goat meat. I'll take yeah. point. I'm going to try to be cute. Okay. Your disadvantage. Oh, uh, sad. <laughs> I'm just going to meekly knock on the door, just huddled okay. and shivering. You hear kind of like a little bit of movement and then silence. Nope, and more knock. silence. I'll knock again. Still silence? Right, still the silence, but you hear footsteps approaching. Oh, okay. I'm the sorry. The door isn't open, but oh. go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. 
I'm sorry to intrude. I just, I just was wondering if anyone was here. Okay. The door creaks open ever so slightly, and you see a very burly-looking human man uh, with kind of very tan skin, dark brown hair, um, wearing what appears to be very simple linens and some like very baggy kind of canvasy pants. And you can notice on his offhand is a short sword. You can see it kind of glinting in the in the rain and the light from the inside of the home. And he kind of peers down towards you and he goes, I'm sorry, but I don't I don't take in travelers. Uh I I understand. Um if if we we could pay you if if maybe we could stay in your barn. Roll a persuasion check. Um, With disadvantage, because you're exhausted. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm sleepy. Ten. I'm offering money. Who else is visually present in this moment? Me. Okay. You watch as he kind of eyes kind of trail towards you and then catch you. There's a kind of a cocking of the head, and then he turns back and he goes, One gold and I'll let you stay. Okay, thank you, sir. I'm gonna give him the gold. Okay, he reaches out a hand. And the moment he, you give it to him, he just immediately cratches it and he boom, closes the door and you hear a voice from the other side go, if any of my cattle are missing in the morning, I'll hunt you down. That's fine. Is there something we should be aware of? There's hay in the loft if you need it, but sleep on it. No, he means having the sword out. Is there something that's been plaguing you and yours? You're definitely not from around here. What gave it away? <laughs> Remember, bandits, goblins. Hmm. All right. I will thank you, sir. Orn bless you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Is he just going to completely ignore us now, or...? Yeah, he shut the door, and he's completely ignoring you. Okay. All right, gents, we got a place to stay. Kind of right. weird. It's understandable. It's a small village. What with frequent goblin and bandit attacks on the road. Can never be too careful. Oh, okay. Roll... Mm. Oh god, what would this be? Say history check for both of you. Disadvantage. Story. You. Fuck, that's right. Yeah. Kai as well was uh, Fifteen, okay. Nine. Kai, you know that the land guard like usually have at least some presence there is no guards here whatsoever and with a 15 you take that information as you will she's probably afraid of some bandits or something along those lines well, well you guys either way let's not look at gift barn in the mouth you guys push open the barn doors and enter inside. And you can see currently it's got a couple cows in it. Um, there's like a couple milk milking cows currently chewing food and kind of look up towards you absentmindedly, flick the ears, and then go back to eating. Uh, and there appears to be two ladders that lead up to the loft. It's a very huge barn. This is a massive barn. Mm -hmm. um, it's, yeah, it's spacious. But it is kind of cold. Um, but it definitely keeps the rain out, luckily. You can hear the pattering of the raindrops on the roof, but like out, out of the paddock and kind of the main mm -hmm. pasture, it is mud central. It is so gross. Well, it's something. What time you of day is it at this point? At this point, it's like five in the afternoon, probably. Okay. Yeah, you guys were definitely slowed down by the mud. But as you guys make your way up to the loft, there are giant piles of fluffy yellow hay that are clean and dry. 
and you guys can easily throw your bedrolls on top of to sleep on. Oh, is, how luxurious. Is there, like, a tub? Like, not a bathtub, but, like, a large... Like a like basin? A, yeah. A trough. Uh, roll... Investigation check, I think, would be what you would be looking for here, because you have to dig through the hay to potentially find anything. May I guidance? I'll allow it, yeah. Thank you, because yeah. I'm bad at this. You also have disadvantage. Oh. It doesn't matter. <laughs> wow. I just wanted to Milo, take a doodle bath. Milo, you like push some of the hay and it's so warm, you just immediately fall asleep. <laughs> well, I guess I could try and find a bath tomorrow. The rest of you just watch as Milo is just digging in the hay and just suddenly stops. You just hear some light snoring. He's a tired, sleepy boy. Uh, I would like to stand outside the barn, pretty still, but in the rain for a little bit, just to let the natural rain do a little bit of cleaning, and then step back inside. Okay. And kind of, like, shake a little bit, you know, kind of wipe some of the dirt off, and then eventually make your way inside. It is not pleasant. Uh, you are still muddy, unfortunately, but it helps a little bit. I imagine that would be relatively similar to travel that I've had before. So it's not mm -hmm. great, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah. I just, I just imagine Iskan going out as soon as the rain hits him. He just turns into a photorealistic lizard. L just lands one <laughs> eye. <laughs> Mouth open, just sitting in the rain. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> down on all fours. Otho is just sort of looking in looking around the barn, just clutching his shoulders. His face is crumpled in a grimace. I'm I'm gonna have Gaius look around the bottom of the barn and just like actually like just do a thorough investigation. I'm not looking for anything in particular, just like something interesting. Sure, go ahead. Roll an investigation check. You find a black three. Two and these cows are so cool. Look at these cows. Working hard or hardly working? <laughs> Rough day, huh? <laughs> kind of shakes its head and flaps its ears a bit. The bell kind of ching ching. <laughs> yeah. Big same. <laughs> Wait, that, 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 that meme of that guy looking over is like, yeah. 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 <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yep. <laughs> this just makes me think of like the SNL skit Mark Wahlberg talks to animals. <laughs> hey cow, how the, you doing? The fuck, the fuck, the, the fucked up thing is, is that guys actually has a, a a bell on him. So he like looks at the cow, looks at the bell, looks down at at the, it, looks back. He's like, "Do I?" Hmm. <laughs> it's like having a fucking existential crisis if he should put it on. <laughs> That's me. That's it. All right. Hang on, that as you will. Hi. Anything you'd like to do? I'd like to book. Okay, you book. Are you guys putting up a watch? Milo's out, by the way, because of the natural one. So you know, y'all know, y'all know how when to wake me up. I take the darkest night. I mean, I will definitely be uh, available for a watch, but I do need to sleep. I can't stay up all night. Who's yeah, first? Up. I'll take the I'll I take the morning watch, so that's me. Okay, I guess Gaius I could go is, first since I'm, I'm standing out mine. anyway. You scan? Okay, that makes a lot of sense actually. Who wants to take the second watch then? Otho Kai? Otho would have trouble sleeping, so he would take a watch. Okay. Alrighty. Iskan, go ahead and roll a perception check for me while you're out there having your quasi shower of Splish splash, I was taking a bath. Bum, 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 bum. Fifteen. Okay. You do notice as you're kind of keeping watch, the farmer, whoever lives in that farm said, does occasionally like look out the window. You can see like just a silhouette of him, and then it kind of disappears. But beyond um, that, you're... I would say like the second time, I'll just sort of weakly wave at him. It's dark at this point because it's raining and it's kind of in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Sure. So, yeah, you're not sure if he sees you or not, but at the very least, he is kind of peering out. Mm -hmm. and that, I'm acknowledging him. Mm -hmm. But at the yeah. very least, your watch goes without a, without a pitch. Cool. 
I will then go and wake up Otho. Hey, you okay? Yes. Yes, I'm fine. Thank you, Mr. Seed Lolly. Um, uh, all right, if you insist. He just wipes some sweat from his face and he shuffles over to take a watch. Roll a perception check with disadvantage. Uh, I'm going to shift and give myself advantage to cancel that out. Okay, so it's just a straight roll then. Yep. Perception. Fifteen. Okay, Fifteen. As you, uh, as you're keeping watch, are you outside the barn or are you inside the barn looking down? There's like I a am loft window. Inside the barn, I don't want this man to see me shift. Okay, fair enough. You peer outside the window, and you see a wagon pull up, being led by what appears to be a tiefling woman. It is a donkey-drawn cart. Hmm? Does she look familiar? No, she does not look familiar. Okay. As she kind of ties up the donkey, she knocks on the door, and the door again cracks open. And you see the farmer kind of like usher her in and she quickly goes inside and the door eh, closes behind them. You notice that the donkey. Uh... Actually, no, it's just a normal donkey. There's nothing wrong with it. And my brain, <laughs> oh. my brain was like, took me on a path and I'm like, there's nothing relevant about that. I'm like, no, Mutant I don't donkey. know. Now it feels like it is. The donkey has a sinister look in its eye. It has a knife. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> we, attack the farm we attack the farmers at dawn, brother. Beyond that, nothing else happens, but that woman never emerges. Might be a uh, wife or something. Hmm. Well, if nothing else happens, I will, uh, uh, I will da -da -da -da, wake up the next person. That'd be okay. me. Uh, that'd be Gaius, actually. You took last, you said. I was. Sa I said I took oh, I said I took last. Yeah, he's taking oh, okay. morning. I taking darkest night. I will switch that around then. My bad. All right, Milo. Mm hmm Mr. Brightbeam, it is your turn. Oh, just five more minutes. Nope. Oh, and I'll, I'll like, I'll like lightly pat his cheeks. Oh, uh, uh, stop it! Stop. <laughs> he like he like tries to just smack your hand the weakest way possible. As you guys are kind of doing night. that, so both of you, as you're kind of slapping him up and you're ready to go to bed, Otho, you hear immediately look down. I am. It's not coming from downstairs. Unshift. It's it. It sounds like it's coming from across the way. Look across the way, then. Okay. So you look across the way. You see. The human man in his full glory, um, uh. and the tiefling woman currently carrying out sacks uh, and placing on the back of the donkey cart. And you notice one of these sacks has like a cow leg coming out of it, like it's a sack, and it's around like a cow leg coming out, like cuts of meat. Oh. And you watch as the farmer. I want both you to roll stealth checks, please. Oh. I'm assuming my I, this doesn't count as a long rest. We still have disadvantage. Three, no, double disadvantage. disadvantage. Good. Well, this is going to be hilarious because it's me rolling stealth. <laughs> oh, buddy. And here we go. That's a natural one. Da 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 We're going to get DMCA'd. <laughs> Uh, as you guys don't react in time, as the farmer points up to where you are, you both kind of, like, see it and then duck down, like, a, like a second too late and kind of hide yourselves. And you can kind of hear some... And then you... Do you guys stay hidden or do you peek again? I mean... I rolled a natural one, so of course I peek again. Okay, you peek again. Roll a perception check, Otho. With this, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll mm -hmm. peek too. Cause screw it. It's not like we did anything wrong. Yeah, roll I'm really upset. I was muted when I reacted to that. That one. May, may oh. I, may I, <laughs> may I roll, Monty? 
You I would may like guidance if you wish to as well. Thank you. Okay. 18, okay, really so, good. Uh, fuck. Uh, okay. Um, that's the D4. Oh my god. Yeah. Eight. Yeah, Milo, it's I raining hate. really hard. You can't see that well. I but hate. <laughs> Otho, on the tail end of your vision, you see them kind of exchange words, and then <clears> the <throat> tiefling woman kind of pulls the donkey and brings the cart away, and immediately, as the farmer turns, you notice he still has that sword in his hand, and he goes into the house and <clears throat> closes the door. Manu, when you said in all of his glory, is that what I think you meant? No, he was not naked. He was okay. just, you could see all of him at this point, because before he was only, like, peeking through a crack. Here you can oh, see okay. him. He's built. He's a farmer. He he is very muscular and looks very strong. Um, I could take And him. the tiefling woman also looked very similar as well. Okay. <laughs> Can I check around to see if there's any blood in the barn? Sure, go ahead and roll an investigation check. Otho, what are you doing? Advantage. I don't trust this. Uh, with disadvantage. A 13. Cool. Okay. You look around, you don't see any blood, no. The tiefling woman, did I get a good look at her? Not with the rain, no. You could just get the outline of her. The clearest thing you could see were her horns. She had the kind of horns that curled back in a tail. Okay. But she was also sporting a very similar, you know, ensemble outfit. To the also, former? Yeah. Not exactly, but like similar sort of garb, like, you know, heavy linens, deep, you know, hardy out clothing, essentially. Also, it's all right. Just go to bed. Mm, something is wrong here. <laughs> okay. He's too tired to argue. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll do a semi patrol, Monty. Like, is, is there only one barn door, or is there like two? There's one that leads out to like the the road, for lack of a better term, out mm -hmm. back towards the road. And then there's one that leads out to the pasture itself. There's only two. Right. So I'll just kind of intermittently go between the two th during my watch. Okay. It is disgusting. It is like, you know, a pig, you know, cow cow poop and mud. Mm -hmm. Um, Otho, do you go to sleep? Mm. Yes, but it's pretty restless. Okay. All right, Milo, perception check, please. Uh, 18 finally nice. <laughs> nice okay as you are walking towards the farm like facing towards the farmer's like house you see the lights go off like pretty shortly after the tiefling woman leaves mm -hmm. as you walk for probably about an hour and a half as you are making your way looking out the pasture side, kind of back where you came, you notice some lights, like some fire lights, coming from what appears to be the east. How far down? Ah, uh, with decent ways. Like specks on the horizon, you can see. And they're moving, not like turbo fast, but like, they're not like stationary, they are moving. Can I discern whether they're moving in our direction or not? They appear to be moving towards uh, uh, Apple Bottom uh, fields, yes. Oh. oh. By the sun, I don't need this right now. Um, I'm going to reawaken Otho. Because I... <laughs> Otho, I'm sorry, but there's... Th there's... Wait, what is it? I'm, I'm seeing torchlights coming, coming from the hills. They're coming this way. We should wake everybody up. Get everybody up. I'm going to go get the farmer. 
uh, he he swallows and nods, and he'll begin. Uh, he'll he'll wake Kai up. I'm money. I'm bolting for the the house. Okay. Kai, we need to leave. Mm-hmm. Kai, Something. brother. <clears throat> what? Brother. What? Oh no. We've made a mistake. We've made a mistake. We need to leave. What do you mean we made a mistake? No, sleep is good. There are there are people coming, Kai. What people? I don't know, but it seems suspicious. Kai's gonna shoot up. Okay. Wait, where? I would have told him exactly where I saw it. Mm -hmm. It's a ways away. Like it's like across, like like opposite way you guys came, but like really far off on the hills. Like probably like I'm gonna say like a forty five minute hike away. It's very far. Milo saw firelight, and I saw a tiefling woman, I think, wearing a similar outfit to the farmer. I think these people might be thieves. What? Kai is going to squint and nod at you. Well, let's take care of them. We need to run. I don't know how many of them are there. Money, how many lights did I see? A few. Probably <laughs> two big ones. And I'm going to say probably about five or six little ones. That is more than four lights. <laughs> oh, four lights. Uh, Kai's going to stand up. <laughs> Wake the others up. We'll make sure nothing happens to you. And he's going to start marching towards the door. Okay. Which door? <laughs> you have to specify here. The door to the barn that would lead to the house. Okay. Yeah, you push it open. How far away is the house? Not that far. Probably about 30 feet away. If oh, yeah. That. Okay, because I was I was running to go warn the farmer. Yeah, Kai's going to go to the door of the farmer. Okay. You guys go up to the door. Just knock. A little hastened, but not, like, violent. There's... You hear some movement, and eventually you see some light kind of turn on, the flickering of a candle. You hear a voice go, what is that? We saw uh, we saw torchlights about forty five minutes out. We weren't sure if there were bandits or anything. They're not bandits. It's fine. Go back to sleep or leave. Can I incite that? Disadvantage. He's behind a door. That's fine. This would be a very hard check as well. Ah, uh, good. Ah! Third that one. Let's go. Never. <laughs> All right. I'll take his word for it. Falls asleep right in front of the door. Just crack. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> shake, shake, shake. All right, I'm not going to dignify that. I'm just going to go back and go back to my watch, I guess, or just try to tell everyone. Well, you woke everybody up, which means no one gets a full rest now. So. Even if it's just 15 minutes awake? If you wake them up when they they go back to sleep and you interrupt it and they take any actions. Actually, technically no actions were made. I will allow you guys to go back to sleep this time. But just keep in mind, if you're woken up and you do actions like searching or anything, you are no longer considered like getting your full rest. It means you get another point of exhaustion. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Yeah. Curses. I can't get up and go to the bathroom. (laughs) Yeah, so did anybody go with Milo to the front door? Someone said that they did. Uh, Kai did. Okay, then Kai, you don't get your full rest, unfortunately. That's which fine. means, yeah. No one actually woke. Yeah, no one woke up, us up, so. Okay, well. I was getting well, ready to. Yeah, you guys are fine. You two are fine. You're still sleeping. Otho, Kai, you were awoken. Kai, unfortunately, you went down with Milo, which is considered movement. So, unfortunately, that means you interrupt your long rest. It's all right. I'll just get yelled at for not going to sleep again. (laughs) All right, Milo, you head back inside. Mm -hmm. Kai, you follow? I mean, I'm going to stay up and outside since it doesn't matter at this point. Okay. Well, it is raining. You can get a secondary point of exhaustion if you stand out in the rain. Oh, it's still raining? Then I will stay up and inside. Okay. You go back inside. I'm, I'm just, I'll watch out the window if I can guess. Okay. Eventually, Milo, your watch comes to a close. 
I'm I'm just gonna gently shake um Gaius awake. Slaps your hand away, you notice that there's a bell around his neck. I'm not even gonna ask, and I just plop. <laughs> Doming, <laughs> looming. Like looks left and right, shifty eyes, muffles the bell and puts it away. I look outside. Well, Kai, you're awake. You can either assist Gaius or you can roll for yourself as well. I'll assist him. I don't want to roll dice. I don't trust him. Gaius, with advantage. Uh, perception? Yep. Here I go. 13. 13. Okay. Nothing happens. <laughs> That fucking scene from, uh, oh, from Wacky Deli. Boy, what a beautiful day! And everyone else is fucking miserable. Actually, uh, Gaia, since you're awake, roll me 3d20, please. Hello? So nothing came of the torchlight? Na no. 20, Not 17, and 18. Wow. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> Boy, what a beautiful day! Did you just summon Boy, a hurricane? Hurricanes. Yeah, <laughs> it is a proper thunderstorm now. This is this is coastal. It's entirely possible for a hurricane. Or a typhoon. I don't know which, which hemisphere we're in. Sorry, I'm going to try to find <laughs> some appropriate ambience here. 10-hour YouTube video of thunderstorm sounds. <laughs> Uh, this will relax. go well with my vibe playlist. <laughs> God. As you all wake up, version. it still feels like nighttime. As a large thunderstorm has rolled into the area. Like Milo. The uh -huh. There's no sun. I didn't expect there to be. This is a miserable place with miserable people. Hi, you take one point of exhaustion at the beginning of the day. This is a cursed place. These people have no gods. <laughs> and the day is yours. So is it just Kai that takes the exhaustion, or is it... Yeah, because his sleep got interrupted. The rest of you guys didn't... Uh, Gaius and East Cam were awoken, and you didn't move, so you technically were just roused. If you did any checks or movement or whatever, then you would have lost it, so... Yeah, you're fine. You get your full rest. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like today is going to be even remotely pleasant. There's no sun, no sleep, no food, no warmth. Uh, well, we do have food. Uh... Morning, girls. How's the how's the day? How's the night treat you? He's talking to the fucking cows like they're co-workers. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, daily grind. I think Kinda we should go before Gaius gets indoctrinated into the herd. That's good. I don't like it here. Just slumps drags himself up and he's just walking at a full slouch as you guys enter into the storm yeah it is a torrential downpour <clears throat> with flashes of sheet lightning and gale forced winds buffeting you uh, this is a plains area isn't it <laughs> yeah well, be are we grassy moving, i would say are we moving is, diagonal or south gang uh, uh hey, so I have an idea. That's part of what I was gonna ask. If is, if we move into the woods, we have some coverage from the rain. And, yeah. And I was gonna ask too, like, is there actually a mechanic for getting struck by lightning? Are we gonna have to th thunder planes this? And I was about to dodge? fucking say. <laughs> Slave Knight Gale comes out of nowhere and smanches our tempest. Yeah. No. The even guy is like just. For, from a character standpoint, even guys would suggest that, like, well, if rain bothers you, we can take shelter under the trees. That's better than nothing. Ah, uh, well, it does take us off the road. 
So. Let's say this tile is still considered bandits. a road tile right here because there's road on it technically. Yeah. Oh, we don't need to go through the forest to get to the. No, we can just go to the edge. Okay, ignore what I just said. Unless there's goblins, money. Goblins. goblins. Well, rain now there goblins. are. Thanks. Uh, it could be rain goblins. The legend. There's, there's just goblins made of water. All right, so I assume we're just gonna go here then. I guess we'll go diagonal. Yep. Yeah. A bridge. To Terabithia? Oh god, no! <laughs> Don't, oh, it's too movie. soon, dude. Too soon? Oh my god, that movie. Alright. Feel more of the space here for you. For a movie that came out in 2005. Got it. Um, Alright. Uh, genuine question for you, Monty. Yes. Just because we're out in the plains, um,. Normally, you know, your vision unencumbered by like forest or mountains or whatever, you can see further away, you just can't see those details. How mm -hmm. much is the rain hiding the details of what we can see? Yes. <laughs> okay. You've never been in a monsoon, have you, son? <laughs> really? Yeah, you I can know. maybe see <laughs> at most 20 feet ahead of you, but beyond that is like just absolutely terrible terrible rain so we're pretty much just following the road until we suddenly happen across a bridge yeah okay you do kind of branch off slightly to like be under the boughs of the trees but they are being like whipped and lashed leaves are like spraying onto you like being just like kind of caught onto your clothing as you guys try and find some semblance of safety uh, I need someone to roll me a d100, please. That's gotta be you, Basco. I would like to angry fish. <laughs> it doesn't have to be. It does have to be. Everybody else. Do it, Bosco. D100 for me. You Pure pressure. Participate. Ooh, dead 50. Perfectly balanced. Holy cow. As all oh, things should be. You guys kind of hide under the boughs of the trees, but it doesn't really help all that much. This wind is relentless. I need everyone to make constitution saving throws with disadvantage. Oh, oh shit. Nat one. It's violent weather. Nat one. Five. Why can't I roll con? Oh, Kai over here. Without, um, with disadvantage, though, so I have to roll again. 19. Oh, wait, never mind. Natural one. Oh, why? Is that three this game? I see roll hey. 20s back in full force. I three need one more one? from uh, Kai, just because it's a disadvantage, Bosco. Yeah, I was trying to figure out how to Holy like, shit. turn on disadvantage wow. on D&D Beyond, but it is not. I can't find it. Just roll it again. Anymore, just click so. it again. I just have to roll twice. Uh, that's yeah. that con save, you said? Yep, con yep. save. Sorry. That's uh, 19, by the way, Monty. Oh, yep. wait, I rolled a constitution. I guess it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, that's a four. I rolled a con, not a save, but I have. Well, you have. Matters. Are you proficient in con saves or no? I am. So then roll a constitution saving throw. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, yeah. I apologize. Yeah, give yourself that, at least that chance. Still an at one. Okay. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> Fuck off, roll 20. Wow. Anyone who didn't roll above a 10 has a point of exhaustion now. Cool. Uh, my Back speed is halved. Except for Kai. Back at it again. All right, your speed is halved. Uh-huh, because I got two points. And you guys, unfortunately, as a group, are now slower as well, because you can only move as fast as your slowest member, which means your speed is cut down in half. Okay, Unless so... someone wants to carry me. Cool, cool, cool idea. Let's find a way under the bridge and rest there. That's a bad idea. Do you want to drown? Is If there's room well, to... Make... It's going over a river. We'll get swept away. Uh... There's also going to be flooding. Fine, fuck it. I say we just, like, don't move, stay put, waste a day, and get some sleep. Are there I any mean, rules for that, we'll money? Get, we'll get a point of exhaustion. We'll get another point of exhaustion because it's raining. <sighs> then I don't fucking know. I guess we just keep moving, then, because what else is yeah. there? I think we have to. Would we just would we just have to roll con saves again, money, if we were just to spend the next day resting? 
If you bed down and it is raining, you automatically take a point of exhaustion unless you have a tent or some other means of, like, thing. I will say this. Intense weather, it doesn't matter if you have a tent, you automatically take a point of exhaustion. A gotcha. structure, though, immediately prevents such a thing from occurring, so. Uh, would, would I know how far Quincunsk would be from where we're at? Survival check. With disadvantage. With disadvantage, because, yeah, you're definitely muddled here. Hmm. Uh, can I roll this as well? Nope, this is just Based for on the conversation that we had with Ebony and Ivory? May I guidance? Will... Uh, you can guidance, yes. But, unfortunately, that will not apply, unfortunately. I'm very sorry, Mark. Okay. This is based uh, on memory. Okay. I'm going... Four. I'm going to shift to cancel out the disadvantage. Okay, and you have a plus four. Here I go! Uh, 18. 18, not bad. You think past this bridge, you maybe have three to four days left. <sighs> About three to four days after we're done here. All right, that's fine. So, what is the plan? Hit the bridge or hunker down? I have a suggestion. Mm. We're right on the border of this like wooded forest area. What if we camp in the treed area? That, we, that's what I was saying. Didn't we do that? What? And it it would didn't that, matter? Would, would that help at all, Monty, if we just camped in the now. trees? Oh, yeah. These right. trees are getting quite fucked over right now. Yeah. I'd say we just keep going because there's nothing else to it. We might we might be able to find something on the road. Fair enough. Okay. What I wouldn't give for that carriage again. So, All right, so who, what do we do then? Because we're going to move you guys, forward. Are you proceeding forward? Yeah, straight south. I mean, All if right. we're going to take a point of exhaustion either way, then yeah. I don't like the sound of that tree breaking. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, that was, that was what was that time. noise? <laughs> One of us gets fucking uh, so Final will... destination <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I will say this as well. Not sleeping and also not can't, like, just to clarify this, because this is new. This is all new, by the way, chat. This new travel mechanics. Oh, my God. Um, if you guys both travel in a storm and don't sleep for the day, that's two points instead of Wait. one. Didn't we well, hold the fuck up? Wait, hold on, because you yeah, told yeah, us yeah. that we're getting that just, no matter what. So yeah. So if you guys like sleep, you're gonna get one no matter what. But if you don't sleep and you travel through hard weather, you're gonna get two essentially. Oh, the one is yeah. You can't prevent the one essentially is what I mean, unless you have structures. But yeah, you may want to stop and rest. I'm sorry if I confused you. I, I think yeah, I might have misunderstood I, I what thought, you were saying. I, th I thought yeah. that was the idea that we were going to rest, take the exhaustion, and then just go. Just one point? Yes, I would recommend that instead. I apologize. Okay, then I, I, guess, I, we, I, I guess we sleep then, because that's better than the alternative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, you guys have set up a watch? Yeah. Sure. sure. Same, same as last night? Mm, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. E-scan. Perception for me, please. I'm at disadvantage. Episode title, I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Episode I'm title, sorry. rain, rain, go away. Natural one. Natural one. Hey, you... fuck you too, roll 20. Yeah. So, wow. Awesome. E-scan, you, by the way, I imagine all you are like huddled together. Yeah. Because, holy shit. It is, like, you get the sense, Eastcan, you can't see anything. Nothing can probably see you either. As there are just sheets of rain rolling over the buffeting hills. You're terrified that the trees behind you are going to snap, but luckily the wind is blowing from the south. And you huddle together and you guys just sit it out. And you each take a point of exhaustion. Mm -hmm. I need three d20 rolls as a dawn dawns. Dawn dawn. Dawn dawn dawn. I think that's... We're back to you, Gaijin, right? Yep. Uh, sure. Uh, 
One, two, sorry. Three. You're good. 12, 8, 14. Okay. The good news is, the storm ends. The bad news? The bad the news. Blizzard is still, the blizzard starts. The, the hail begins. <laughs> no. It is still raining when you wake up, but it is not buffeting crazy wind anymore. Cool. So, uh, group suggestion we stay the fuck here, spend a ration, and get rid of this exhaustion. Will we be able to get rid of the exhaustion yeah. in the rain, Monty? No, you can't. No. For you know, you fuck! To... This is why we, yeah. We're, we're buying a fucking tent soon. Uh, we I, I can't guess... take another exhaustion. One of us will surely die. No, no we have deaths for a while. So, Right now, Once all of our three, speed... The de I was just going to say, our speed's halved right now. Next is disadvantage on attack and saving. Four is yeah. hit point halved. Five is no speed. Six is death. Yeah, Kai's going to hit that hit point half bit next turn. Well, but it won't make a difference. Because it is raining, we don't really have a choice. Oh, fine. All right, I guess we move forward. Unless then. we go back to the barn. Nope, fuck that place. I would I would rather I, I, camp outside. I would I would I would calmly suggest that you swallow that pride and we go back. Well the problem is our speed is halved, so we're not even gonna get back today. Oh god, I have no suggestions. You guys then. can move a tile today, that's what you're gonna get today. But it's gonna be slow going. <laughs> I'm out of options. <laughs> so either we we go back and try and buy more time from the farmer to sleep in his barn or maybe check a different barn or we push forward and hope for something across the bridge. Let's put it to a vote. Who wants to keep going south? I say I go back. I... I think we should risk pushing forward because there's a possibility we might find something i would also say push forward fuck i don't like this but okay two more two more votes though Otho. it's uh, three I to two say we push forward yeah. it's, three, well. it's three to three it's three to, to one right now there's no way i can I, win you guys push on forward Someone democracy roll wins please. for better or worse i don't do it yeah, 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 yeah. 56. Oh, God. Sorry. And then another blizzard appears. <laughs> I see. I've rolled the dragon encounter. And the rain yeah, starts falling up. As you begin to walk forward, you now see the form of the bridge breaking through the gentle rain. You see it framed by two large lion statues on either end. There's a bit of shrubs growing around it, and you can hear just the turbulent water below. <sighs> Figured they'd be flooding. Do you guys recognize this bridge at all? Would I? Would the lines look familiar? No, I would say not. It seems like just okay. gener generic decoration. Haven't passed around this part. Well, might as well push on then. And it, it wouldn't even be big enough to sit under, right? Like... It is over like a cliff, so. Ah. Well, there you go. There you go, indeed. Really sorry, guys. <laughs> I feel kind of bad, but this is like, you know, part of it is the traveling. Let's keep going yeah. south. I'm so sorry. I hope you guys are okay. You guys okay? Yeah. Well, I sure hope we don't run into any encounters. Relatively, Monty, at this current moment. Okay, okay. 
Let's All just right, keep going south. Make your way across the bridge, Iskan. Yes. You kind of stop for a moment. You hear something up ahead. Uh, everybody, hang, hang on. There's, there's something up ahead. I squint and I look. I, I think I heard whispering. What kind of whispering? Uh, it was really quick. I didn't really make it out. Everybody just be ready for anything. Should we just make our presence known? That's just what I was going to do as he holds up a hand to his face to kind of let his voice carry over the rain. And he goes, hello, I we know you're her. there. I slash your backhand, hold the fucking axe to the ground. You watch as one of the shrubs lifts up the ground. You see a goblin with like war paint on. Ah, great. Hi. And they step in front of the bridge where you're going. Hello. Is this your bridge? Yes, yes. It's really nice. I take. Uh, take what? Bridge. Oh. Uh, congratulations. You want cross? If it wouldn't be too much trouble, yeah. Then pay. How much? Many. I'm gonna look Many? back at everybody and then look at the goblin again. Uh, just one second. Let me see what we have. And I'm going to bring the group together into, like, a huddle. Okay. Absolutely perfect for being robbed. I, well, I have an idea. He didn't say what type of currency, just many. How much copper do we have? I have 30. I've got... I have two. two. I've got two. I have nine. And I've got five. Uh, Gaius, would you be willing to part with some of that copper? No. It's obvious that this isn't his bridge. Yeah, but he's I'm not, not alone. willing. But I will do it if necessary, and I will begrudge you the entire way. I can promise you, I'll pay you back. Lazily points two eyes and points at you and hands you the 30 copper. Okay. The sound of the clinking coin, you see the goblins just kind of perk up and he kind of straightens a bit more. I'm going to keep. I'm, 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 can I look to see if there are more of them? Sure, go ahead and roll a perception check. Oh boy. May I guidance? You may, yes. Thank you. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Uh, f 19. You notice there are three goblins behind you where you just walked past. Mm -hmm. And there are two other goblins to the left of the bridge hiding as well. It appears to be five, uh, six goblins total on this bridge, but five of which are hiding at the moment, kind of staring out. It looks like they've dug out like pits and they like tied shrubs to themselves and are now hiding like a cursed chia pet waiting to ambush. <laughs> That's a horrible image. Cursed chia pet. If we're going to pay, have your friends come out. Many words. Smaller. Uh, if pay, friends come here. Want to see. All right, and I will move you guys to the bridge. Hold on. Oh, oh boy. I'm just going to make them visible. 
are no longer hiding. <clears throat> there you go. Make sure oh, that the big branch. See it okay. And see. And money, just for clarification, we're going this away, correct? Yep. The block okay. away. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so you said they're not hiding anymore. We can all see them? You can all see them, yes. But they do have bows pointed towards all of you. Sick. Uh, I will call out to the, I guess, the leader, the one who's blocked our path. Uh, five each. And I'll sort of indicate the six of them. All me. All me. Okay. Uh, and I will very slowly, with like my hands upraised so it doesn't look like I'm going for a weapon or anything, mm -hmm. uh, approach the goblin. So how many copper coins is that total? 30. 30 copper coins total? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Roll a persuasion check with advantage oh. Oh. because there's a lot of coins. A lot of clinky, shiny... Big shine. Oh, 15. 15, not bad. This one. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and Did you just I'll say goblin roll? I and just said, I'll oh, no. Him. Oh. I'll hand him right. the 30 copper. You kind of just drop them all into his hands. He kind of catches them, and he, you see his eyes kind of go glow, and he kind of looks towards all of you, and he looks towards, eh, paper, no. Meh. What? You pass, and you watch as he backs up. Oh, okay, cool. All right, everybody, come on. All right, see ya. <laughs> as you guys begin to leave, the goblin's like, you come back, we rob you again. Trust <laughs> me, this wasn't robbing. <laughs> oh. uh, good, good to know. We'll, we'll remember that. I'll remember this. What, well, right, Bosco, are you coming? Thank you. <laughs> we're gonna obliterate him on the way back when we're arrested, Oh, I'm gonna right? fucking rip his head off! <laughs> Good. Good. I'm gonna fucking throw his corpse over the side of the bridge, are you kidding? Good. <laughs> Excellent. Alrighty. Uh, hey, Gaius. Uh, like bleary eyed, but still has that like pleasant smile and turns to you. I'm, I am really sorry, but I, I really will pay you back. I promise. Don't linger on it. It hurts more if you do so. Uh, right. But I have an iron steel trap mind. I will recall this one day. Gonna come and back I here won't at level forget. 50 and absolutely go nuclear. Oh, I'm, I'm like, let me see your map. <laughs> no, <laughs> give me your map. No, I, he just I'll takes everything a, and jumps over the bridge. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll marker this actually for you guys. You know here there be right. goblins. I can't, yeah, wait. give them the skull so we know that they will die when we come back. <laughs> yeah, right there. I have never been upset until this very day. Oh, no. <laughs> I imagine he's doing like the the Ren Hulk, just like smile. Oh, but it's what am I going to do to you? I need a percentile dice, please. That's my turn. Fuck. Does anyone else hear that steamroller? <laughs> First, I'm gonna tear your lips off. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Fifty-one. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna hit you. Can we get and out of the fifties? The fifties are scary. <laughs> And I'm going right. to look down, and I'm going to laugh. You see nothing but just fields of grass. No trees, <laughs> just open fields. And as you guys... Can I dig a hole and bury myself in it and sleep <laughs> there like Minecraft? Yeah, how for did, real. <laughs> how did our trek to Martorello end up being more depressing than Easton Vale? Because Easton Vale didn't have shit with weather. 
It didn't have weather. It, the it weather just had, is gone. I would rather fight zombies. I would really rather fight zombies right now. Holy shit. Not right you guys want to try and maybe build a shelter of some kind? Yes! Out of, but okay. out of what? We don't have any materials. You have grass. And mud. It's better than nothing. I'm not that kind I'm of artist. I am... I am very small. I will fit. I'm used to living in holes. It's fine. Rises from the earth. I'm I mean, alive. Guess... I'm born. I'm free. I guess we'll try. Okay. Group survival check for this. Guidance or not? Uh, not for this. This is a long over the course of time. Gotcha. And we're all at disadvantage. Two! Can't wait for us to just be wasting our time with nice. the disadvantage. Uh, 14. Okay, not bad. 15. Okay. 14. Okay. That is three successes. You guys manage to weave together like a kind of like sort of like um a lean to for lack of a better turn term. Mm. Um you know, you use Mira's staff as one of, like, the poles to help. <laughs> uh, Gaius's axe as the other pole because there's no fucking wood anywhere. And you have some experience weaving, Iskan, and you kind of weave together a sort of frame and then just all of you just start just grabbing grass and throwing it on top. And it is the most, like, ramshackle thing ever. But it does seem to keep the rain away. Cool. Cool. We're all just huddled miserably in a pile under the grass. Yeah, gotta... it's like you guys are close to like there's no like there's no mask like there's no five feet apart covidness here. It is like you are breathing on each other. That's that's actually not a bad thing because sharing body heat's actually really good. You could like also make a fire as well. Long. You could attempt to anyway. Oh god, I've got a tinder box. I can produce marginal amounts of fire. The problem is we probably don't have burn? any dry tinder. I've got a handful of sawdust. <laughs> <laughs> you do. I that do. would just make everything explode. I would not recommend lighting that on fire. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh oh, guys, I got oil. It may not. It, it may do something with wet wood. I don't. Know. Let's start an oil oh, fire. I just. I just remembered. What can we do to make this wagon warmer? And then the next kettle is on fire. And it's like, gosh, guys, our lean to is keeping us dry. But how can we get warmer? And then the next panel is the lean to on fire. The lean to on fire. Why do I keep doing this? You know, in hindsight, that wasn't a good idea. You know. You know. You know we, all right. So. We got no way of drying it. That's the problem. Yeah, it's been raining for three sense. days. We have we have nothing but yeah, wet. wet. I'd say uh, we just actually well, uh, because I genuinely don't away. know. Does prestidigitation let you wick moisture from something? It does. We have to keep recasting it over and over and you over can, again. You, well, if I we're building the fire, prestidigitation lets you dry something. Yeah, if we're building it inside the tent, then once it's dry, it would be dry. Yeah, you, I, you know what? I'll let you use prestidigitation to dry firewood, sure. Okay, cool. So yeah. Iskan will poke like Kai. Iskan will poke Kai. Uh, Kai, wasn't there something in your book about being able to, to dry stuff out? Uh, for prestidigitation, why? Are you, you going to try to dry something? Well, we could try and make a fire, dry some of these materials off. Okay, yeah, go for it. That's a good idea. Okay. I guess I'll give it a try. So I uh uh what do we have that can burn, guys? That might burn for a while. Paper. Oh god. Uh paper does not <laughs> burn for a very long <laughs> time. Oh all, all we really have is grass. I do have a torch. Yeah, that would work. That's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, just put that in the ground. Itch. Yeah. Just, just slam it in there and. <laughs> All right. Well, you will see Ace Gun hold his hands out over the torch, 
and he's going to attempt to cast press the wait. It's covered in oil. <laughs> Uh, Ooh, it plus... immediately catches flame. I was catching your fingers as you cast the spell. Wait, I don't have prestidigitation. Um, but you do have druidcraft, which can I light a small do. campfire or a torch. So I'm going to attempt to cast <laughs> yeah. prestidigitation. And it and... and it foofs, and it almost catches your fingers as you cast it, and the torch is alight. This ah. get nice! I'm really glad that worked. Mm, of yeah. course it worked! Just stick it into the mud. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, um, one of us will have to stay up and watch to make sure we don't burn the place down. So but. back to the night shift then, same thing, I think. Yeah, why don't you go to sleep? Uh, we'll wake you up when it's your turn. Okay. He's down. <laughs> <laughs> One frame. <laughs> and by the way, if we see in the distance those barns are on fire, fuck them. That fucking family guy falls over in a single frame. Didn't anything to you. They were just being a little off putting. He was belligerent. <laughs> Milo tried to save his life and he was like, don't worry about it or Don't leave. worry. Did you see the Waste upkeep? your rest. I mean, did you see the upkeep of his livestock? It was fucking terrible. I'm going to give I this know. place a one star on Yelp. It probably was being hounded by <laughs> a chupacabra, The barn in Apple too. Bottom <laughs> Fields would not Yeah, no, Gaius' recommendation. The, I'm gonna Service I'm, was I'm, terrible. Yeah, no, in the in the Agni Odyssey, it's going to say, don't go here. <laughs> not worth the boots with the fur. This place is awful. <laughs> in fact, just Sorry, burn it down on your way. You know, it's fine. <laughs> a attention, bandits. Why waste your time when you could go here? There's no guards. Alrighty. Oh, my God. You guys. <laughs> Easy meal. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> We're I vindictive mean, right now. Do you like I was going to say, I mean, like, do what you must if you must. Alrighty. You guys huddle into this terrible, terrible lean to uh, Constitution. I'm going to allow this Constitution saving throws with advantage from everybody. 16. As a success. Look at that. Single digits all over again. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's a that's a six oh, okay okay it's Natural a net 20. 20 all right uh kai who do you want to have pass out of the two with the natural 20 between who and who between uh no. milo and otho otho okay Thanks. I mean, it so makes sense. anybody Brother. who rolled above a 10 or rolled a 10 you get a full night's rest. So that's minus one point of exhaustion, right? It I believe so. I'm going to double check that, though. Because I always forget. Yes, it is minus one. Yeah, minus one. Oh, nope. Get back in there. Oh, yeah. I did the same thing you did. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. And I need another weather check, please. I'll do it. So I've got another point, correct? You do, yep. Cool. We all should be at one except for Kai, who's at what, uh, two. I am not. I am at three. Yeah. I have disadvantage on attack rolls and saving throws. Three, nine, and ten. Oh, please let that be clear, skies. No wind. Uh, normal temperature. And a 10 is right on the cusp of no rain. Uh, cool. Did you guys wake Thank up? Fuck. Is there it sun? is a vibrant, sunny day. Guys Milo can recharge. No, I can't. <laughs> yeah, Not we'll just hold, put, a, put a solar panel on your head. <laughs> Here comes the sun. <laughs> 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 Everyone wakes up. Gaius is walking back to the bridge, like tapping the axe in his hand. All right, motherfuckers. <laughs> Round two, motherfucker. You want to fuck with me? I'll I'll fucking launch a wibble wobble your ass back to losers bracket. Where are you going though? That is the question. S south. M Milo wakes up and he just fucking looks like this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's, that is correct. That is correct. Oh no, he's not had oh, he has wow. not had sleep for three days. 
fucking Pim after episode one of Smiling Friends. Think about it, the sun's just gonna explode, and all of this was for nothing. <laughs> you guys head south. Not the skull, that's for later. <laughs> I'm I'm still at half speed, gang. So unless someone wants to carry me, he is a small size, so he can be piggybacked without a penalty. Luckily, how much do you weigh with 120 with all your stuff? 120. Oh, oh for fuck's sake! I just grab him by the back of the fucking armor and hoist him over my shoulder like a baby. <laughs> I, he's he's barely conscious, so fuck it. <laughs> can can Milo sleep like that, just being held? <laughs> If you move, unfortunately, no. It's too, uh, much, it's too much jostling. Yeah. It's By the way, easy. keep an eye on your rations because I'm running low. Yeah, we are running disastrously low. I'm at 13. I don't know what y'all are talking about. I am also oh, at 13. How do you fucking die? If it I'm comes down seven. to it. I am at four. By the way, because I'm thinking about it finally, um, plus two temp HP for myself and for guys. Hooray. Yes, because okay. you have a son now. It's it's scorched it. though. He's not paying attention. <laughs> you think he was paying attention when you were actually cooking it? It's it's G nine instead of the usual E four. Oh my god! Can I get a percentile roll, please, from somebody? Whose turn, Whose is, turn it? is it? I think it's Connor's turn. Okay. 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 <laughs> 26. Okay. Uh, okay. Nope. Oh, sorry. No, stop going on a fucking mission. Okay. <laughs> okay. Roll a d10 for me, Connor. Oh, 10... Three banshees. Three banshees. Why would you say that? <laughs> Field banshees. It's a joke Ugh. from our Frost Maiden campaign. Ground it banshees. Is, yeah. The groundhogs come up out of the floor with, like, laughing like hags. Okay. <gasps> you see a structure in the distance. like a tall building. And Otho, you're, you, Otho and Kai, you recognize it. It is a windmill. Master Point Hat. He didn't live in a windmill. He lived in like a normal tower. <laughs> <laughs> what if he did though? I live here now. <laughs> Welcome to my windmill. <laughs> what took you so long? Uh, but you also notice over kind of the hills are these long, sprawling wheat farms as well. And there is a house seemingly nearby. We could go ask the owners of this house if we could sleep in the windmill. Boy, I hope he sure has a chipper attitude than the last person. Can you sleep in a windmill? Oh, We're going to find out today. Way. Ask for two days, please. Actually, yeah, if we could stay for a little while, it would be good to... Like a couple I of days. I think I agree with you. We could do chores. I don't care. I'll cook for the army. I don't care. Hooray, trials. I'll cook for the army. I don't think the we're in any position to be like close to an army outpost, but <clears throat> yes, let us uh, approach the windmill. Okay. As you guys begin to approach, you see what appears to be like a six-year-old little girl currently running around with what looks like to be like a little kind of rat terrier dog kind of like being chased, and then as she turns and she sees you, she turns and goes, Mom! She kind of like is looking at you, he's like, Mom! like over and over again while staring at you mom <laughs> I <screamed> back. <laughs> don't do that you sound, you sound like the door mom. opens up and you see a rather homely looking woman wearing like a like a white apron over a long green dress hair tied back and a ponytail 
tan skin, similar brown hair to the farmer, previous farmer, but a lot more kept and nice. Um, and kind of poking their head around, currently eating what looks to be lunch, is a more stringier bean kind of looking man. Very tall and lanky, uh, kind of strawberry blonde, really short hair, bit of a goatee and beard combo, wearing a straw hat. They kind of, kind of step outside and see you all approach, and the woman goes, Hail there, are you all right? I'm um, Lee. We, I'm the... <laughs> we all just interject. <laughs> <laughs> we all say at the same time no <laughs> I'm literally on Gaius's back passed out we've oh, been poor. traveling on the road through the storm for a couple of days now and we are terribly exhausted I'd hate to impose but do you have a place where we could sleep I could I will offer to do chores or no labor idea. or Here, pay you, you or anything you traveled through that storm? You didn't hunker didn't. down with a tent or find a place to stay? We don't have a tent. What the We're fuck not. is a tent? We're not properly equipped. She gasped and covers his daughter's ears because you swore. Uh, sorry. Uh, we're just As you really... can see, I have a baby on board. You have to excuse me. <laughs> a chain mailed baby. Oh, God. I'm wearing a girl tail. Goes, Mom, what's fuck mean? And she's like, no, oh, okay, honey, go inside, please. And she's like, but I want to see the dragon man. No, go inside. Oh. And turns, she goes, <laughs> I'm a goat. It, I noticed that um, you're not my first goat I've seen. Wait, what? what? Drop well, Milo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> Is this family guy false? <laughs> You, you saw arm? another one come through here? Like well, yeah, I did. A while ago, though, like quite a while ago. I will give you any amount of money to speak on that after we get some rest, please, and thank you. Would you guys like some pumpkin soup? Oh, that'd be splendid. Okay. <laughs> I think that sounds delightful. Thank you very much, ma'am. One silver for each of you. I'd much appreciate because food's I hard to get out gold, of this part. Please take it. <laughs> I give oh, her a gold. Okay, you give her a gold. She goes, that'll do. Come on inside. My name is Sam. It's nice to meet you. Come on in. We got a fire going. I grab Milo by the foot and I drag him. <laughs> Still on the floor. <laughs> He's through the mud. <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear there's a blonde boy underneath all of that mud. As you enter inside the homestead, it is very well kept. It's very... Rustic would be the best way to put it. Um, there are windows, but they're kind of, you know, dirty and, and you know, have been cleaned, but, like, have definitely taken some weathering. Um, the roof is, like, a kind of a combination tile and thatched roof on top. Uh, on the inside, there is, like, a main sort of kitchen area, very well kept with sausages hanging from the ceiling and barrels of of different ingredients you see currently in the oven, there's like a, a bread being baked uh, and there's a reasonably large table in the center. And uh, um, there is like a room off that seems to be partitioned with a curtain and kind of in the other corner are just these like really flat bunks with nothing on them. They're just like very quickly made log bunks uh, that you could easily put like a bedroll on. Uh, and as uh, Sam brings you in, she goes, we get a lot of travelers from these parts. I couldn't help but notice you were coming from the northern direction. That we were. What on earth would bring you all the way out here? No one's been traveling this road for almost a year or more. Gainful employment. Gain gainful employment. Yes. Uh, we're 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 on our way uh, to Marjorallo. Oh, the Great Harbor, Marjorallo. Yes, this yes, the port city taken quite the perilous path to get there but i mean you, you could have taken have. you could have taken the dead road but um uh, let me get that? you some food y'all sit down do you want any blankets he is shivering something fierce i would yes love please that. my friend he has had quite a rough go of it i uh, <laughs> in my foolishness and paranoia i mistook simple lights for a group of bandits and it cost him quite dearly 
I, I look down at Milo, like like guys like leans down oh. and on Milo who's still face first on the floor. You hear that? We gotta go through that. He's room. not fucking face first on the floor. <laughs> Drop the bit. <laughs> oh come on! It's so it's fun. been done. Okay, yeah, you're fine. wrapped in a blanket. It's like these lovely quilted woolen blankets that are He's really soft. He's fucking crying, warm. by the way. Oh <laughs> yeah. god damn! Fine, Gaijin Christ. Aww. Uh, um, as you guys sit down, you brought out some pumpkin soup. It's like pumpkin with like, it's like goat's milk and pumpkin soup, kind of a weird combination, but it's very good. It's sweet, but, but very hearty. Um, and Sam kind of serves it and Grant just kind of is, you know, smoking a pipe, just kind of seeing what's going on. And their daughter is kind of peeking from behind the curtain, seeing what's going on. But like, I was like, shoo now. And she's like, oh, okay. And then hides behind. Um, and, uh. When you mention like we could have stayed in the barn, the Sam kind of goes, "Did you swing by Apple Bottom Fields?" We did. We stayed in the barn for about half a night, and well, we stayed there for the full night, but it felt like half a night. Hmm. Yeah, those are strange folk up there. I mean, they're not unpersonable, most of them, but wow, well, I don't uh, quite like their business. He saw the me. one man who is, I suppose, reasonably skeptical of our presence there. He greeted us at this door with a sword in hand. And then a similarly dressed <clears throat> tiefling woman came out oh, to meet that... in a wagon. The man was, was it the cattle barn you stayed in? Yes. Mm, that was Jackson then, Mr. Jackson. He's um, it's pretty abrasive, honestly. Um, man, the tiefling is new in town there. Uh, her name's Poetry, I think. Some weird name like that. Poetry. Yeah, they raise goats up there. You mentioned you saw lights. Uh, my friend here who's uh, trying to catch up on some sleep did. He alerted me and gave me quite a fright. Hmm. Well, between you and me, I've heard that the people of Applebottom have been making dealings with the ogre wife to the east of their little establishment. Oath of freezes. Probably noticed they had no guards. Yeah, that was... That was weird, for sure. What's they, this ogre wife, though? Have you not heard of the ogre wives? We are fresh from the border. Oh, I suppose that's right. Uh, there are several ogre, uh, I don't want to say kingdoms, queendoms, bases, what you call it? Strongholds, I think would be the right term. Though I think that might be kind of um, being a bit too much, but uh, the ogres and the goblins in this region are plentiful, many, and bold to a fault. Some will just probably want your coin from your pocket. Others want the hide on your flesh, and that oh. is less pleasant. I believe... Oh, gosh, which... Grant, which one's the one that's nearby? Apple Bottom. You see the man kind of smoking his pipe, kind of thinks about it for a while, and he kind of hums it over. He's like, I think that's Bazazug, um, Ogre Wife Bazazug. Hmm. Yeah. What I've heard is that they give them a share of their produce and meat, and in exchange, they don't raise the village to the ground. Uh, that kind of deal is strange. Well, the further you go towards Marallo, the more that uh, Ozlemir Harlan has the land guards making sure people aren't making dealings with the goblins. But Applebottom brings in a lot of produce, which sells for a lot of coin. Untaxed coin, because there's no land guard there, but... The exchange is they have to deal with the ogres and the go uh, the goblins up there. Yes, we were accosted by some goblins on the road. The bridge the coming bridge. 
Yeah. I've had a few uh, individuals turn back on that path. You gotta be careful of choke points. They like to ambush in those points. Yes. Very careful. I don't mean to turn this around on you, ma'am, but you mentioned there was someone of my kind you've seen in the past. There was a rather a strange fellow, older than you, though. Um, carried himself pretty well. Did he a prize bit... him to? Oh, go ahead. Ah, uh, what was his name? It was a long time ago. I think his name was Todd, or or tagged. Tagged? Maybe, maybe, maybe tagged. Did he hoist himself as a bounty hunter? He did. Yes. He That's said he my was uncle. Also... Oh. I'll talk about a small world. He uh. mentioned something about a nephew, um, and then mentioned interest in going towards the uh, the trade road, possibly inquiring some things up in Marallo, the Great Harbor. But for the most part, he just had stories to tell and didn't tell us much about himself, to be honest with you. Oh, that sounds like him to a fault. I have more of a reason to go to this port town now. Now, granted, hun, it was a year, it was about a year ago. So, unless he's hunkered down, which I would say he wasn't the hunkering sort, I'm not sure if he's still around. I just don't want to get your hopes up, you know. Smile goes to like a bitter, just like contemplate. He just like takes this, takes the bowl and just like swallows the whole entire liquid. Ah, <laughs> yeah. <You're like, laughs> Why don't y'all get some sleep? I'm just going to wash some dishes. Hopefully it won't disturb you. Uh, do you need any help before? I mean... I think we're okay. I, I mean this with the utmost respect. You all look terrible. We feel terrible. I will offer any service the moment I regain my strength. I will say I appreciate the money. It does help pay for food. If you want more, it's a lot better than getting robbed blind by a bunch of goblins. At least I'm getting something out of it. I think the goal is more than enough. Fantastic. Right. right. Well, uh, thank you for the soup and a place to stay. Of course. Grant kind of cleans out his pipe and goes... I'm going to head out to the fields. Kind of gives you all a nod and then exit out the front door. Right. I guess we'll go to bed. Get you some sleep. <laughs> you guys get a full night's fucking rest. Oh, yay. Oh, Otho prize his vice grip from the hands of the chair he was sitting in. <laughs> Can we stay for a couple days? You can if you want to, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I imagine they, they probably won't be too keen on feeding us. They are as long as you pay. Like, they, they feel... Easy. Genuinely feel kind of bad that they're charging you with the, with the state you're in coming in, but they, at the same time, are just like, we need oh, money. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Take they the other silver. To... Yeah, they do not need to feel bad. This is service for for payment rendered. It's fine. Right. Uh, the little girl is enthralled by all of you. Um, she's like about six years old. Her name is 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 Tara. That's her name. Uh, and she's just like, so so. Do you eat bugs? Do you eat bugs? Like just Escan. She's totally like attached to Escan. Uh, not if I can avoid it. Why not? Do they not taste good? Well, it's it's a little more complicated than that. Uh, just depends on where they've been. Do you lay eggs really... like a chicken? Uh, Which did you lay eggs? I don't lay eggs, no. Does your tongue shoot out? <laughs> Are you I, a chameleon? I don't I, know. I, I, Monty, does my tongue shoot out? No, it doesn't. Gaius has the fucking Agni Odyssey out and he's like waiting on bated breath for every answer. <laughs> uh, no, not really, no. Why are you blue? Uh, actually, I get it from my mom. 
Why is your mom blue? I don't know. Actually. She kind of puffs up her cheeks and looks disappointed with the I don't know. I never really thought to ask. Uh, Have you ever a... seen a dragon? All of us. We all simultaneously have Vietnam War flashbacks at this the Excalibur <laughs> face. Sam turns and notices that and goes, okay, honey, I think it's time to go outside. I think our guests are done answering questions. But she's like, mom. It's like, no, nope, we're going outside. Bye-bye. And closes the door behind I, her. I want, to mouth, I want to mouth something to her as she's going out. Mm-hmm. I'll answer any question you want later. She, like, smiles. You can see she's missing some teeth. And she's, like, nods really excitedly as she's rushed out the door. And the dog goes after her. And the mother closes the door. And she goes, I'm sorry, children. <laughs> No, that's quite all right. Anytime someone interesting comes by, she has to ask every question in the world. I used to do that, so I understand. Yeah, it's part <laughs> of growing up. Reminds other... me of a certain inquisitive younger brother I have. Are there any other kids around here? Oh, no, no, no. There are a lot of kids in, in Queen Kung's, though. We're thinking about maybe moving here pretty soon when she gets to be about 10 years old, you know. Reading is pretty helpful, but um, are you not are you not worried about your safety out here this close to near goblin territory? No, they don't tend to go past the river. Um, and because there haven't been many people coming through the road, we haven't had much bother before. We used to have <clears throat> station guards here, but it's become a little bit more levied at times. We get a patrol that comes by every now and again, but um. That's generally quite safe here. The river continues on the uh, eastern path, which kind of just cuts us away from any uh, ogre wife stronghold or goblins, for that matter. They mostly stick to the bridge. Any idea why the guard don't come up here anymore? Well, uh, oh gosh, it's kind of a controversial subject around these parts. The Ocean Lords mostly deal in what is immediate, I suppose. Um... You know, they don't want to stretch their reach too much. Their focus is the harbor and the international trade and, and the coastlines and the coasts in general. Um, folk up here, eh, we have our uses in the financial sort of things and for food, but beyond that, it's, you know, too much money for little yield. But for us, we've been growing bread out here for a while, um, probably about five years or so, but, um, I mean, the goblins, they come and go, and, uh, you know, well, you've got a taste of the weather. The, um, state of affairs in this place are pretty similar. <laughs> Quick question above game, Moni. Yes. Is, is Tara out by herself? Yeah, she's playing outside. Uh, Milo would actually like to go out and play with her. Okay, Absolutely. And one one part play enjoyment because hearing that there's no other kids around that sucks. He's also really really young, so it's not completely above him. Plus, it's nice to protect the alone child. Ute, yeah, she has a little dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she has a little dog that she kind of is throwing a stick for, and she kind of turns and she goes, "Hi, hi there. Uh, do you want someone to play with?" Yeah. Do you have a toy? Looks side to side, hides the mace. Uh, <laughs> just calls down the sun. This is my toy. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, God. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of toys. Do you have any toys? I do. You want to see them? Yeah, let's go. All right. She takes you into the windmill. Neat. And you find all the bodies. I was about to say all the weapons. <laughs> Uh, All the there are she's if, I, I there will say this: are some sleeping areas in here too, very similar to the bunks inside of the house. Notably, the windmill is a lot more creaky and loud, and and less comfortable. Mm. And as Tara kind of brings you, she goes, "This is where Mom says the weird people." The weird people. Yeah, sometimes travelers come in and they're wearing like scary clothes and have scary faces. And my mom says they can sleep out there or here. 
they sleep here because they smell and also they like have maybe you're doing bad things and she's not sure so she puts them here are they all just regular people like you and me or do they look kind of different there was one who had like teeth that came out the bottom and then there was one that was a dragon so i saw a dragon and there was one that had like a big long jacket that was scary and then there were two guys who were like no shirts and really strong and they were traveling with a guy who's really silly and really small but he was really mean to my mom so she told him to sleep in here your mom's really nice yeah you know what there actually we all saw a dragon once. We do. Yeah, we saw a big, it's a big scary dragon. Did it fly? It did fly. And I think, I think it was a, it was like a, a bony dragon, like a, like a zombie dragon. He watches her face kind of fades. Lightwing? No, I, I, I've never heard that name before. A dragon made of bones that flew overhead is white wing. Oh, sorry, above game. I thought she said white wing. No, blight wing. <laughs> you know, I've actually heard stories that further up north where I'm from, I hear there might be dragons there. I've actually heard stories about a yellow dragon. Have you ever seen a yellow or even heard of a yellow dragon before? Yeah. My mom and dad were talking about it. Apparently, it destroyed Kutchner's Cove. Wow, it must be a strong dragon. Yeah. What other dragons have you heard of? There was the dragon that was here, and he was a red dragon, and he said he could breathe fire, and he was really nice. I really liked him, but he stunk real bad, like fire. And then um, I have a storybook that has a dragon in it. And there's also, there's, my mom has a thing that has a dragon on it too. Dragon's are really cool. I know, right? You know, someday I want to see like a, like a silver or a gold, a gold dragon. A gold dragon would be amazing. That'd be so cool. I know, right? Oh. I know nothing about him though. Have you ever heard of a gold dragon? I, we're just prattling on it. Yeah, this point. you just prattle on at that point. Yeah, the rest of you are inside with uh, with Sam. I'm assuming, unless you guys want to go elsewhere. I, I will fix all of her broken toys. By the yeah, way, it's the she, one thing I can do. Okay. If if she asks for some kind of physical labor, Gaius is all over that. All right, you fix some holes in the roof because of the storm. There's some thatching that's missing, so. You know, I, I feel like Eastcan would be really good at making the thatching after the lovely Lean Two adventure. Yes, he has apparently discovered a new talent in being able to make thatched roofing. <laughs> Otho, Kai, are you guys inside? Uh, yeah. Okay. <sighs> so Otho would down. probably be helping out with with chores or something. Yeah, dishes. <sighs> Welcome to Dishland. There's more people, more dishes. Hey. So, heading to the good port, Marfarallo, are you? That's the goal. I haven't been down there in quite a time. Hmm. Oh. Neither have I. You've been before? A long time ago. Hmm. About a year and uh, a half. Oh, well, that's not that. Well, you are young. It's ten years for me. You know, after we had Terra, just the big city was just too much, you know? I had to kind of get away from it all. and I can understand that. The place is just so noisy, and oh, the ship's coming in and out. And i gonna be honest with you. She puts a hand on her hip. The Dayton pool there is terrible. Sailors, never there. <laughs> Awful. Tell me about it. I've seen firsthand all too many uh, women who have their husbands out at sea and decide that it's not worth it waiting for them anymore. Well, some say that distance makes the heart grow fonder, but 
I found it very annoying. And after that, I met Grant, and, well, things happen. You all seem very happy out here. I'd say we are. I wouldn't lie, and your friend was mentioning it about the goblins and stuff, that I don't get too, um, I get a little nervous, but, like I said, they're more interested in apple, apple bottom feed, uh, fields. I mean, we just have raw grain, not much use to goblins, but... Well, do you think you're gonna have it today or tomorrow? Need another day, or are you gonna? I think my halfling friend uh, should wait until he's fully rested, and then we'll probably head out. That's a shame. There's no caravans coming down this road anymore. Mm. It used to be bustling two years ago. This used to be a significant trade road, really. But um, <laughs> one thing. Makes it all fall apart. <laughs> you know, if by some miracle of the gods, Eason Vale becomes what it was before, maybe we don't have to leave. Maybe we can stay. I'd like that very much. Oh. Hopefully those prayers will get answered. One would hope. You missed a spot. And she kind of points towards one of the plates. Ah, yes, sorry. <laughs> well, we're happy to have you for as long as you want to stay. We're thankful yeah. for you. And she looks over. Kai, what are you doing? Uh, he's got two books open on the table <clears throat> and he's got the three scrolls that he was given by the wizard sprawled out and he's cross-referencing stuff. Excuse me, sir. Hmm? I thought I told you to go hang the laundry outside. <sighs> Kai's gonna shut the books and roll up the scrolls and go deal with the laundry. Life. It's nice to have life in here. Fleeting as it is. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. It's been lovely talking to, well, actual people. <laughs> Not being afraid for my life on the road. Well... Your friends seem rather capable. Hmm. Yes. Might not be as much danger as you think. He sort of... His smile fades at that. And as your smile fades, the hammering on the roof continues. Eskan, you gather up bundles of grass to be put on the roof. Milo, you fix... A dozen toys, some of which are like cobbled together using like animal skulls. Like you joked about the oh, bodies, boy. but this girl literally has like skulls, and she's like, "I found this one over here," and like it's just showing you. Uh. Kai, you hang laundry out in the idle breeze, the rolling over hills, and as the wind tussles like a wave of an ocean over an endless grassy sea, that is where we're going to end the session for tonight. Oh, yeah, boy. bye Austin. Uh, bye, bye Austin. Austin. Bye Austin. Now he gotta wait a week. Two, isn't it? We Two do, weeks. yeah. So Two just weeks. a heads up: next week there will not be a session of the Unexpectables, as Connor and I are actually going to a convention, the same convention. Um, yeah. So there will be no session next week. And then we'll so, be back. And, on I, the and I am going to New York for my birthday. Birthing day. So what, when will we be back? Uh, we will be reconvening on the 20th. All righty. So one mm -hmm. week, folks. Oh, it is one week. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, th I, thought, that, I thought it was uh, two weeks as well. No, uh, it is. We are back on the 20th. We are back on the 20th. It's only for a week we're going to be gone. Um. <sighs> God, I hate traveling. 
Oh, man. Episode nine. Episode nine. Number nine. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> that you guys was got, You guys scary. have gotten pretty lucky with the rain before. That was incredibly unlucky with the rain. <sighs> Yikes. Well, at least we, we, we made it. We pushed through, and I, I think... Knowing what I know now, I think that was the correct option. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those lights were ogres and goblins coming into town. Can't believe. So I can't believe. <laughs> I can't believe. We got robbed by goblins. We didn't get robbed. We paid. We and totally got robbed. Listen, listen to to Gaius. Unfortunately, someone who doesn't really have a clear concept of like fucking capital having anything taken away is robbery so that's why i'm like everyone's like oh no guys it's only 30 copper he doesn't know that that was my 30 copper that belonged e to me exactly yes exactly that was my so 30 we copper. go back and murder them and take our money back oh i oh yes i'm, I'm gonna wake up on level three go back there and uh shit there's gonna be fucking blood stains on the on the bridge i'm gonna fucking i'm gonna gently matatsu my way back to the bridge Oh, man. Provided we don't get caught in the rain again. <laughs> I'm very sorry about the rain. Like I said, oh, that was what like... What are you sorry about? It's a random chance. It is, yeah. Like, just because I got fucking, like... I, I guess I sounded tilted, but I guess it was just resting bitch voice, because it's like, well, we're in a bad predicament, so of course I'm a little sour. So oh, it's yeah. like... Yeah, like, you know, there was, there general was response. Done. There was no good options, and it sucked. But we yeah. made it. Yeah. Yeah, it might be worth looking into some tents. At least I would help with, like, the yeah. light rain. Um, what the fuck is a tent, says Gaius again. <laughs> we need to we need to get to either Martorallo or, or uh, Quin, Quin, Quincunsk? Yeah, you can call it Quintown. That's what some people call it, too. Quintown. Quintown. Yeah, Quintown. Like, say that other one, because it sounds almost like a bad word. I know, I know. It's an actual <laughs> word, too. Quincunx. It's it Yeah, I got like, autocorrected yeah. in my notes. Yeah, it's uh, it's like, I believe, five prongs or something like that, or like a center with uh -huh. four coming out. Guys, oh, well, guys, more motivation to go to town. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, get some fucking tents. Duh, Jesus. Well, I that's know, what we're working if, with. And, you know, see if my uncle's there, but whatever. You guys saw Ted was a... bad. You're gonna fucking. I just realized these goblins are near this a is... cliff. <laughs> They're what? They're near I a can't... cliff. They're oh, like yeah. I can't believe anywhere. the bridge goblins were Ted's smirking revenge. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. We'll get our smirking revenge later. Indeed. I'm not gonna lie. I, I just shot back into the stream and I got an ad for Shrek. Amazing. <laughs> wow. I can't. Wow. <laughs> Free V streams. Get your Shrek movies. What are you doing? On my uh, All right. Well. <sighs> this has been a, a lovely session, folks. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Uh, let's go around the horn and deintroduce ourselves, starting with Gaijin Goomba. We're going to find you. What are you uh, doing? You can find me everywhere at Gaijin Goomba. I'm good. All right. Mark Allen Jr., where can they find you near? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> you can find me on Twitter.com at Mark Allen Jr. here on Twitch at Ann Protect Gaming. Follow my flat, my flat, my fat sleepy <laughs> chat bunny. <laughs> on Instagram at chonk for life Also, I didn't mention it at the top, but if you guys are fans of the Fate series, uh, I got to jump in and lend some voice to uh, oh, Fate shit. Grand Carnival, uh, the two uh, OVAs based on the mobile game, uh, Fate Grand Order. Uh, they're up on Crunchyroll now, so if you want to watch the dub, you can hear me as Geronimo and Napoleon. And also, it was part of the Neko Arc Army, and if you don't know what any of that means, Check it out. It'll take an hour. It should be fun. Other Indeed. than that, yeah, I'm, uh, that's that's me. Um, t -t 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 
see who's next. Zito, we're going to find you, and what are you up to? Twitch.tv slash Zito. You catch me finding indie games, all kinds of, like, art streams and whatnot. We, that, that's about that. Uh, check out my uh, Twitch, because I might have some uh, physical kobold news that uh, might be relevant to a lot of people's interests who like uh, stuffed animals, maybe? Maybe you like, maybe you might like it. Uh, check my Twitter at CC Backlash on Friday for some cool information. Uh, beyond that, uh, while I do have my homebrew stuff on Patreon, I'm taking a break from writing for it because birthday month. So this month I was like, all right, I'm going to take off for a little bit. But on the uh, backswing on that, I am working on something for DMs Guild again because it's something that has to do with Spelljammer. And I'm hoping to get that out just in time or before the release of Spelljammer in August. I hope you guys want to play as a Grell, because that might be a thing. Brain bird. Ooh. Brain bird. All right. Bosco, where can they find you? And what are you, you find up? me at Ed Bosco VM, both Instagram and Twitter, right here on Twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. Time. Slash oh. Jedward Bosco. I think we're going to have to take points off for clarity. Je Jedward? Oh my god, Jedwins. <laughs> Jedward. Someone post the meme. Uh, and Monty, we're going to find you. What are you up to? Uh, I will not be streaming for the next week because uh, the aforementioned vacation. Uh, but you can find me at Twitter, uh, at Monty Glue, if mm -hmm. you want us to be posting everything. Thumbs up. Look towards the yeah. camera and give a thumbs up. I'm oh, crashing so hard, guys. I'm so sorry. Also, oh. I may have made a mistake. We can talk about it afterwards, but I think I did make a mistake with the... I definitely made a mistake with the travel stuff. I made you guys do an oh. extra check you didn't need to do. So that was my bad. And we'll, I'll fix it. I'm going to clarify some things for next time because that was a mistake. Well, in the end, it didn't... It, it didn't kill us. So we're, no. we're, we're good. No. We'll, we'll talk <laughs> about it. All right. Uh, and they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. Uh, I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. My schedule will be similarly sort of uh, up in the air slash not present because I will be at a convention with Monty. Yeah. Hooray! Yeah, I'm a couple of our friends as well. A lot of our friends. Quite the group. Yeah. Um, Indeedly deed. Um, be sure to check out my DMs Guild as well, where I'll be releasing the Treasure Hunter Conclave for the Ranger sometime soon. Also check out Dead Hassan out of the action RPG replays the Dead Defy the Living. Uh, I'm, I need a new affiliate code for that, by the way, so, so I'll get that to you when I have it. All right. And this episode wouldn't be possible. Uh, without our lovely sponsor for this evening's escapades, Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice! Die Hard Dice! You have not there. shook the dice twice, Monty. What? You haven't shaken the dice at all this whole session. Yeah, I have. Shaking we didn't it right hear it now. I didn't hear it the first time. Oh, new microphone, you betrailed me. Yeah, we can't hear oh, it. Oh, how does it feel? No! How the fuck does it feel? No! You got noise gated. I got noise canceled. My dice. I have to fix that. That needs. You got to be noise canceled twice. Let's go. Discord. Discord. She, just turns, money. she just turns it off, and we hear all the background noise. <laughs> <laughs> Monty, is your new computer in space? How did you know? I knew it. God damn it! Why is the outsider's butt on screen? Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can. You can. Uh, do all of your tabletop shopping uh, dice and dice accessories at dieharddice.com. You can use the code unexpectables exclamation point to save 10% on your order at dieharddice.com. Some of that money gets thrown back to us so we can keep making shows like this one. A great one. Uh, and with that... Uh, other people who also make this show possible are the wonderful viewers like you. you. And I say, hey. 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 What a wonderful what kind of day. Kind of day. Oh, good golly. What? Oh, my. You gotta, you gotta listen to Holy cow. What? 
Listen to the Lordy. rhythm. The rhythm of the uh, What? Uh, I'll get to it. Um... E, 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 e. It's a simple message and it comes from the heart. Believe in yourself. That's the place to start. Why do I know this? Hulksternator, thank you for the 15 months of prime subage. Feels like Bosco is going to get served a class action lawsuit from Thero and Bracky in the coming weeks. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get a cease and desist. <laughs> and then Bosco will go, and I say nay. Uh, Ellie Kit, thank you for the seven months. Nearly a sub baby. Sunshine3160, thank you for gifting, I think that's a hundred subs to the community? Oh my wow. god. Hot snake, dude. That's a wow. lot. It Holy might be, it might not be a hundred. It might be a hundred. One, two, that's... three, four, five. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, 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 Oh my 50? god. The leaderboard is 50. 50, but it might be 50. It's just a lot of stuff. Not, that's Either not way. any less exciting though. Yeah, that's Either a way. lot. Thank you yeah, so no, much. That's, that's, a a lot of that's a lot of people with emotes now. That is that is that is no amount of subs to sneeze at. Uh, uh, would you like to under would you like to know what the amount that is in in cash terms? Nah, that's not. Okay. Okay. I was about it's, to say. it's it's about it's about the emotes. It's about empowering it, it, the people. Yeah, it's a goodly amount. Uh, but thank you so much, Sunshine three one six zero. Uh, Gaben's profit. Thank you for the fourteen months. Just another clone. Gaben's or yeah, uh, just another clone. Thank you for the twenty five months of Prime. Totally forgot today was Wednesday. I'll see you all in the vod. Uh, Gauze twenty one. Thank you for the one hundred bits. Gaius, goblins detected activating Goblin Slayer program. Is that what you think I sound like? Yep. Fuck yep. you. That's pretty much it. Crit I'm Scratch. Nice I'm so tired. <laughs> Crit Scratch, thank you for the 10 bits. Uh, I want to call you guys uh, the Natural Wonders, but I think that one was taken. Yeah, there were a lot of ones. To be tonight. fair, you guys were rolling a lot with disadvantage because of the exhaustion stuff. Still, yeah, but we though. One. It was still a lot of ones, yeah. Also, I rolled another natural one on a stealth check. Yeah. So I think that's like eight times out of ten. I will say you've broken you've broken my myth. I can no longer be the most unlucky here because you've just proven in real time during this campaign, Roll20 hates you more than it hates me. Oh, I know. <laughs> the feeling is fucking mutual. Damn. Uh, good pseudonymic fake name. Thank you for the uh, 100 bits. Gaius returns to that bridge and proceeds to tech and chuggle that troll to death. <laughs> Watch this Korean backdash. <laughs> hold on, wait, I have a controller. Wait, hold on, hold on. He just makes button smashing noises while he moves. <laughs> Goss21, thank you for the five bits. Gaius chokes the goblin. Where's my money, goblin? Where's the money, shithead? Where's my fucking money, Denny? Where's the money, Lebowski? <laughs> Uh, Crit Scratch, thank you for the 10 bits. Future episode title after you unalive those goblins. Water under the bridge. Oh. <laughs> Is the water red? I'll have to remember that. I love I love that it's 30 copper, but it's the message that the goblins sent that have, have like, not, stoked the fires of revenge. Yeah. You don't yeah. understand. It's not the money. It's the principle. I know. I, it's I, also I my it's, action. Before I feel it because I would do the exact personal. same thing. Yeah. Hey, kids. Right. Yeah. You're going to head yeah. out? I got to scoot. I got an early no morning worries. tomorrow. No worries. Go for, for it, dude. Have a good Yo, bye, guys. Have fun. Bye, guys. Bye. Uh, where was I? Where was I? Oh, King Night Owl. Thank you for the 200 bits. Uh, I heard a great title suggestion from the Discord. Dampened Spirits. Ooh, that's Ooh. pretty good. That's pretty good. I, I still like my suggestion of rain, rain, go away. 
Okay. Stellar Coyote, thank you for the 100 I'm writing. Bits. I'm sorry. I was we writing down your name. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, where's my affirmation? <laughs> Stellar Coyote, thank you for the 100 bits. This week has been tough. My dad got COVID. My mom had hand surgery. And my computer stops charging. But it, the adventures with the Unexpectables certainly helps. Whew. That is rough. Sorry to hear that. Uh, D, 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 D. Uh, Ellie Kit, think of the five bits. Monty, be honest. Sam's secretly a retired adventurer who could crush the party with one hand. I'm not saying anything. Ron, Maybe, sounds... yes. Okay, now this is epic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Magic Ninjago, think of the one or the the five hundred or no the fifty bits. Whoa, I'm sh shutting down. Uh, update on the I'll Discord bingo. I'm counting that six people got a bingo, and one of those was a double bingo. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice. Double bingo all the way across. I feel like you guys should take off the natural one. I think that just needs to be removed. It's too That's too easy. easy. Yeah, that's basically just put the that in the free space. space. Yeah, yeah that's put that in the free that space. space. Uh, Fantastic Callum, thank you for the 100 bits. Episode title Downpour, No Snore, and Pour. <laughs> <laughs> Bubba Bob, thank you for the 500 bits. Diana is displeased with your new mic. I know. I'm sorry. It's not a new mic. It's just a new computer. Yeah. It's probably like a Discord setting or something. Yeah, probably, because it reset all that. <laughs> Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 50 bits. Uh, oh, boy, Spelljammer. The second campaign I ever played in was four or five years ago, and it was in a Spelljammer setting that was adapted to 5th edition. That was unfortunately cut short. Who ain't that Bro, the, the story for D&D? Yo, you know what a Dowar is? Might make him playable. You want a Pebble and the Penguin? I'll give you Pebble and the Penguin, my dude. Do. Uh, Captain Thunderbolt, thank you for the five bits. Let's gather around the campfire and sing our campfire song. Our C-A-M-P-F-I-R-E-S-O-N-G <laughs> song. Wait, I think that's a different campaign that I'm in, actually. So, uh, so, it's, so it's like but Patrick and then Kai good <laughs> <laughs> dice ruler thinking of the 200 bits good news the books I ordered will keep me busy so I'll wait until next time uh, DZ uh, DZib thank you for the 27 months Axios Riot thank you for the 24 months of Prime looking forward to the VOG here Vlog. Our video on demand. Volk551, thank you for the 100 bits. The gang learns about exhaustion, the always sunny theme place. <laughs> that was really unfortunate luck. I just want to point that out. Like, Oh, I yeah, know. I know I run a bad, bad luck when I see it. We we got we got personaed with the three days of rain. Yeah, that's like but that's like kind of the threat of the traveling, right? Without certain things, is like it's it's rough. It's like our Icewind Dale. It's like our Icewind Dale campaign. Whenever we get caught in a blizzard, we were like, "Oh God." Yeah, it's like okay, it's time to buy a fucking snowshoes. Yeah, and a tent, and yes. Every time there was a blizzard, no more moving. We're staying right here and making the igloo and not leaving. Our highest priority is to get tents when we get into town. I feel like yeah, that's probably gonna be. Someone just uh, needs to learn how to summon a pocket dimension that we can all hide in. That's really I mean, Lehman's tiny hut is pretty good. But that's a... That's that's, that's a, like a fifth level spell. Though. That's a fifth level spell. <laughs> Lehman's it? tiny hut? No, it's not. I, there, I had one at level one. It was a level one spell. Liam, no, Liam's tiny hut is not a level one. Spell. I think it's like, yeah, third level it's is what level people are three. saying. Are we, yeah, are we, it is okay, not wait. fifth level. It is third Whoa. level. No, okay, fair enough. I, as a wizard, to cast it. Oh That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, Zenlita, thank you for the two hundred bits episode title. Constitution saving no. <laughs> uh, I like that though, but it hurts. <laughs> It's too real. You're Thor? I'm Thor. Well, it hurts. You're Thor? Well, it hurts. <laughs> 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 All right, that's that's it for the bits and subs for, for this week. 
Oh, wow. Thanks, everybody. Thank you guys so much for coming. Yeah. This is definitely a learning session. I think this is where the traveling really kind of like came into play a lot more with the different weather. Because mm -hmm. the one time you guys have like <laughs> drawn the rain was when you were in a town, which meant it was completely negligible. Right. And so. we, the last couple of times that it would have mattered anyway, we had a cart. Yeah. So we would have had shelter. Uh, uh, I have a suggestion for rating. Who is your suggestion? Colonel Cheru. Yeah, Cheru's got 26 viewers and is playing Fortnite. I know what you got. Never oh, dear. Right now. Yeah, for a day, she's about to get down. Get down. I, I don't know if get anyone down. has my uh has my emotes, but if you do, I have the perfect one, and you know which one it is. I'm posting it in chat right now. It literally is the <laughs> name of the game she's playing. All right. What should our raid message be if they don't have the emote though? What nut? What? <laughs> you know let's what? be sure. let's do butt nut. Butt nut? Butt nut? All right, cool. <laughs> or or conversely, as my wife just said, fart nut or fart nart. Fart nut. Fart nart is pretty good. Fart nart's pretty epic. No. <laughs> fart nart. It's it's pretty. Not very... No shush. No, it's not allowed. <laughs> wow. 